Oh, we, we're live. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's always Mesa. <laughs> it's okay. I screwed up. I left a little graphic uh, image in the beginning. Whatever. Okay. This is episode nine of the Game Session Podcast. I'm your host, Jose, or the Seth Rokage, whatever the hell you want to call me. Uh, before we go ahead and start, I just want to remind everyone to like, comment, subscribe on all the socials. That includes Twitter. I almost said Facebook again. Fucking okay. Twitter, <laughs> Twitch, and YouTube. <laughs> Liking, commenting, and subscribe on every single platform helps us tremendously. And you can stay up to de- up to date with us the most on uh, respective Twitters. Yeah, Everyone's like- at is on screen. And with us today, we have. I feel like I always introduce Wait, Sarah first. Corey's I'm, I'm go- on screen twice. Corey's oh, no. on screen twice. I. I sc- oh no! Oh, I took the image. I have doppelgangers. There you go. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay. Yes, I I see what the issue was. <laughs> I, guess, I guess Dante just forgot. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, that's what keeps it fun. Anyway, uh, today I am joined by uh, a singular Corey. Hello. <laughs> Surrounded uh, by two ghosts. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, joined by Mesa. Hello. Um, second Corey, also known as the Ghost of Blaine. <laughs> joined by the usual sarah who hopefully this time audibly introduces herself hello sorry i'm there sorry i'm putting my headset on and <laughs> it, and i had to like switch around stuff but we good hello and we are joined uh once again by uh sylvia aka nexus hello. all right so this should be a this should be a very fun episode we're gonna be going over some of our uh, game of the year choices. So we have them kind of separated in separate categories for very specific things. We have some wackier stuff in there as well. So it'll be fun. Um, we are doing this before the release of Cyberpunk uh, 2077, just because not everyone will necessarily have the time to play it to completion. And so if we were to include it, we'd basically have to hold this off until January or so. Uh, but the plus side of this is we do have the chance to talk about Jedi Fallen Order, which was snuffed uh, last year by many uh, outlets. So, yeah, let's go in and just jump in and have some fun. Uh, anyone have anything to say before we jump in? So, um, oh, and not to mention, this is the this is the show before the Video Game Video Awards, Award. which our next show will be right after the Video Game Awards. So that would yes. be our Video Game Awards. Yes. This is we ours. <laughs> we are first. That means we're more important. <laughs> I mean, I, hold on. So does does the actual Game Awards, awards have a I don't exactly. think they do. Exactly. So, so um, Game so Awards shows that matter. And that's ours in this, in this Twitch stream slash YouTube video. <laughs> and the one that happens in my Discord. Those are the only ones that matter. Aw, I'm flattered. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a bunch of categories. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. We're going to save the uh, the big chongus for, for later on for the actual, the game of the year. But I thought, uh, you, say, I thought you said Cyberpunk was next year. <laughs> oh, ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I see what you did. All right, first category, uh, Sarah. You're you're probably very enthusiastic about this. Hottest uh, dude. I mean, hottest, come on, it's important. Hottest dude of gaming for 2020. I would like to preface this by saying this year, you know, was actually a pretty good year for hottest for hottest dudes. We had a lot of great contenders, many great contenders, many great boyfriend material, husband material weapon material i mean it was just a great year like come on and for any for people who know me i am horny as fuck on 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 main <laughs> and i have no shame about it any anymore and this category was my you're going idea. to horny jail <laughs> what going to horny jail bonk <laughs> bonk uh so for the for the dudes in this in this category many of them are wonderful amazing we are very happy to have them <laughs> here we have the Doom Slayer from 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 Doom, obviously. Uh, very stoic, personal, very buff. Yeah, my own personal add-on here. Uh, Blitz from Rainbow Six Siege. He got a face re- reveal at the beginning of the year. Beautiful, beautiful German <laughs> man. Uh, Are you going to shield him from any criticism? Huh? Are you going to shield him from any criticism? Yes. 
<laughs> Shoot him with my heart. Uh, Barrett, Cloud, and Reno from the Final Fantasy VII remake. Great, great men. That's one of them is, is... Yeah, there's just hot men Final in Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> yeah, one of, one of them is dad, is dad of the year. So, perfect. Uh, Jin, is is he from Ghost of Tsushima? I didn't play that. Yes, one. he is. Yeah. Okay. Jin Sakai. You see plenty of uh, Jin ass in that game. Well built. You see, oh, you see almost every inch of that man. Nice, He's nice. Scary. Can we get behind that? Uh, Carlos from the Resident Evil Three re- He could re- get re- it. Re- well, he once could again, get it. Very fun material. <laughs> would would carry all of your groceries in in a single hand. By the way. Oh yeah, he is soft boy. He is soft would, boy. Wouldn't even. Wouldn't <laughs> his, even his hands. His tendons are hurting. <laughs> Hug him. Uh, from from, from the, the, the groceries. From uh, Yakuza. Yep. Beautiful. Don't really know him, but but good. Uh, He's a good boy. P five Royal. I got a. Did no one else play Persona Five Royal? I, no. I played Persona Five. He's not in Persona 5. He's in uh, Persona he's 5 Royal. Fine. Play Persona 5. He's fine. Don't know much Persona, about him. But Persona okay. 5 Royal is on, for those that have a PS5 and PlayStation Plus, it is, it's on the collection. Oh, no, it is not. No, it's, no, it's, it's a regular. Actually, oh, it's the regular version? Yeah, it's what, stupid. It's regular? Oh, that's yeah. dumb. Yeah. Uh, Why? Okay, we gotta, it's we, gotta, we gotta hurry this up. I'm going to continue. <laughs> Great, right, Blitzcast. Star. Blitzcast. Patrick Starr? Okay. Uh... Dangerous yeah, he, from the fucking 80s. SpongeBob Rehydrated came out this year. You can't leave out my boy Patrick. Okay, uh, Johnny Silverhand slash Keanu Reeves, which he wins every time. So Keanu Reeves ghost Kiss. and uh, Zagreus. Yeah, and then the- Ooh, Zagreus. Okay, fine. <laughs> uh, we got many great contenders here, and the joke is, people, everybody wins. I'm just calling <laughs> it now. Oh, wins. Just since just your voice is once rose, just since just your voice is breaking out ever so slightly, I do. I uh, want to reiterate the super shotgun from Doom does belong on this list. Okay, He's a, that's fine. A beautiful boy. <laughs> that's fine. People have different kinks. Let's just let's just ex- accept everything in here. It's okay. Um, it's a boomstick. I mean, I, I was going to say Corey also. Go. I was also going to say Patrick Starr does look pretty good in some of those episodes where he's wearing stilettos. Exactly. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Good. Can completely get get behind that. Personally, gen- gentlemen and ladies. I don't believe that we can pick a winner here. I believe everybody wins. Because 2020 no. was the hot dude. This yeah, is blood fair. sports. We, okay, like so, blood sports, so, so then so then does that mean that 2021 will be the year of the hot lady? I think every year is the year of the hot lady. I think we, so we, need, we need more years <laughs> of the hot dude. Every year for hot lady every year. Hot lady every year. Hot lady every year. But yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm just going to be really shitty. And if I'd pick anyone, it's going to be Blitz because that man can shield my heart. And me from from random cuts of bullets. All right. So I I think the best method here is we need to basically get it down to five. So let's let's eliminate the obvious losers. All right. As much as Uh, I love that super shotgun, I will I will I will concede this. Okay. So let's let's give it to that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, shotgun. I don't know who Maruki is. You guys are haters. He's yeah, I don't know, know man. I don't know, man. I saw the character and I was like, oh, he doesn't wear shoes. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, that's strange. I don't like sandals. <laughs> no, I want to say it's it's like, yeah, have you, did yeah. you notice that, like, when, like, when, like, when, um, for an, um, um, He's such a, uh, well, DMC5 was coming out. The energy for V dipped a little bit when everyone noticed that he wasn't yeah, wearing shoes. At least he wasn't Absolutely. wearing socks at the same time. Now, I'm gonna be honest. Final Fantasy VII remake. A lot of lot of hot dudes. I gotta give it to to, to Reno from that game. Yeah, I would he's a, he's I would a pretty boy. Cloud for Reno. Wait, what? I, you can cut Cloud. I'm not I'm not down with cutting Barrett. I think I draw the line right there. I feel like perhaps it's different strokes. I mean, but if I had to pick one. I, it's gotta be I mean, I like those thick boys, though. I mean, he's got the band-aid on his neck. <laughs> Barrett's a thick boy, though, and I like thick boys. Barrett is very That's thick. That's true. Mm-hmm. Is Barrett anyone going to stand up for Cloud? a lot of chest hair. No one's going to stand up for Cloud, because Cloud is a twink. All right, do he we is all... a twink. He's the twinkiest twink that ever twink. I mean, for what it's... Reno are kind of in the same category, and I think Reno is better than Cloud in that category. Okay, for what it's worth, Cloud does, does rock that dress, and he does know how to dance. He does. He does. It's true. 
All right. Uh, okay, we need to go for the obvious stuff. Are we going to take Patrick off? Yes. Yeah. No offense. Well. Damn. All right. Um, I just think I that almost want to. I, I think that Cloud also needs to have a drag name. If we're being honest, if he rocks that dress, he needs to have a drag name. I think. <laughs> can, can we take the Doom Slayer off? He's just too buff. Too much He's muscle. Just too buff. He's too powerful. I mean, if we're going hottest from temperature, he does spend a lot of time in hell. So he's this this is true. The sweatiest out of all. Of <laughs> oh, he's <probably laughs> Yeah. So is, is it safe Definitely. to take uh, Doom guy off? Probably, yeah. dude. He no, never takes that touched, armor off. If you touched his skin, it would be scalding. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I am here to keep blitz on, so I'm posting a gif, and I... so y'all can believe it. And 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 me, I I, 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 it, man. I gotta <laughs> be honest. Our boy Blitz was not <laughs> from this year, though. Man. Huh? Our boy wasn't from this year. It doesn't matter. He got a face reveal this year, so it counts. But he's existed. And I mean, if we're not doing Cyberpunk, would Johnny Silverhand qualify for this year, or would he qualify for next year? Well, because technically th it comes out in a week. Yeah. Well, see, this is a debate, though. Do you need to yeah. play the game to understand that character's hotness? Yeah. No, you can just watch the video with, with his with, with his face. What if he sucks? Well. This, that's true. You don't know. You don't know if he sucks. Well, te technically, the what game comes out in the marketplace of ideas. <laughs> oh, oh fucking damn it, Sylvia! Wow. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> uh, he's hyper Christian, like Austin McConnell. Could be. There right. is actually a siege operator Wait, that Austin is like Christian. Christian. Yeah, I saw a video today. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> We as a committee need to oh, need to decide does does Blitz belong on this list? Corey, thoughts? I have none. <laughs> Nuns belong in church, Corey. Come thoughts, on. Thoughts empty. Nuns belong in church. Wow. Uh, where'd you pull that out of? Thoughts, um, thoughts nowhere holy. I just, I just, I don't have like I'm very indifferent. I don't really have an opinion one way or the other when it comes to Blitz. Because right. I don't know anything about Blitz. So. S Sylvia and uh, Mesa, does Blitz belong? Hmm. He belongs in my heart. Really? <laughs> um, you can no. go. You can Only go because... get an award from your heart. Yeah. Okay. Only because he came oh. out. How many years? Ago? You're so cheesy, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Blitz, damn. Out. You know what? Ouch. At least, at least Carlos is still on this list. It's, it's okay. Not a total loss. I want. I will fight for Carlos. Okay. Okay. He's a good boy. Okay. So by the same token, are you going to keep Johnny Silverhand on? Yes. He's Keanu Reeves. You, you don't get rid of Keanu Reeves out of the hottest dude of the year list. But we but got rid of also, Blitz. But he's also like an actual real life person. So that's <laughs> kind of like. He's a man. <laughs> We're talking about fictional people here. <laughs> well, I mean, Johnny Silverhand is just Keanu Reeves. Like that's. Not <laughs> I'll, I'll defer to the committee the only reason i would not put johnny on is because the game is not out yet yeah that's true because uh, if we're going also based on like award show uh rules they don't really include whatever game is coming out like at least a month before the mm -hmm. show they don't include those and that's also with like the oscars and stuff like they hey. there's a cutoff date you hey. know the game should be so amazing that you won't you won't forget about it next year. Maybe exactly. they shouldn't have delayed it. I think he would absolutely qualify for next year, but I think <laughs> if we're disqualifying Cyberpunk 2077 from every other category, I think he should be disqualified from this one. I am so ser sorry, Sarah. Sorry. I'm so sorry, Sarah. <laughs> we we got him got this got dismantled. Really Okay. I feel like we need to come to an agreement with like we need to get rid of we need to get rid of like one or two of these Final Fantasy characters because there's yeah. like what three of them. On the list? Three <laughs> of them though. I, I think we can get but, but, rid of Cloud easily. I think so too. Easily. I'm into big yeah, men. The I'm not real into debate change. is between Barrett and Regal. In my opinion, I, they are two completely different kinds. They are, they are. beautiful men. They though. are different flavors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Is anyone going to go to bat for Jin Sakai? I think he's a decent I, enough looking dude, I, I, and you I, see a lot of butt. Third place. He's a great third place. Great third place. 
Yeah. I did not play Ghost, so I don't know. Yeah. I think Jin is probably the weakest on this list. Like, maybe Ichiban? Like, he's more goofy than... I wouldn't say that, but that's only because, like, again, like we said before, you really see every single inch of Jin Sakai. That's There's true. There's not an inch of him that's unexplored, except for his, like, his, his wiener. <laughs> his willy. Coming soon in an update. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. So They're updating that game I, out of I, the I blue all the time. Yeah. All like, right, can we like two hours ago? Can we get rid of Ichiban? I have not played Yakuza Blade. You know what? I don't it's, think he's guy, hot, but, but yeah. I think he's, yeah, he's not. I think he's not I think he guy. might be attractive in his in his own way, but it's yeah. like yeah, but not exactly. necessarily hot. Like let's, let's let's face it, the winner of this category. So All we right. got our five. We have Barrett and Reno from Final Fantasy VII Remake, Jin Sakai from uh, Ghost, of, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, Carlos from Resident Evil 3 Remake, and Zagreus from Hades. I don't think we've talked about Zagreus yet. Because we didn't need to. Zagreus we didn't need to. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of self-explanatory. I would like to argue for Carlos once again in my thing of he will help you carry the groceries in in one trip. And you're going to go up to him and be like, no, honey, you didn't care them. Let me help you. And he's going to say, no, I got it. And like, Carlos is, is just a good dude. Nothing. Zagreus will uh, Zagreus will literally go out and hunt your meal for you. So <laughs> yes, I don't want him to hunt my Carlos donkey. Yeah. Hair, though. And That's the true. wise words of one David Gallagher, when he's describing trying to describe Riku from Kingdom Hearts 2. He leans back in his chair and he says he's a sexy guy. He's just a sexy guy. He's just a sexy guy. That's what I would say about Zagreus. I've definitely not played Hades. I barely know anything about him. But he's just a sexy guy. <laughs> but that's but that's a very important thing though. Is he just a sexy guy or is he like Carlos where he's a sexy guy but he also cares? Oh, he is. This, this is not he the rock and like personality. Soft spoken, emotionally intelligent characters in fiction. Mm. This is not Z- the Zagreus's? best personality character yeah. category. Yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> I feel like Zagreus Zagreus is like exactly exactly what what Rem just said is is like emotionally intelligent. (laughs) Okay, I get it. Carlos is a himbo, that's fine, but that shouldn't (laughs) (laughs) No, hundred percent Carlos is a himbo. Oh and uh, this is I mean this is a good list. Don't don't get it like (laughs) any one of these could be a winner. Yeah. Yeah. Shouldn't disqualify him. Himbos can be smart too. (laughs) Yeah. Just to speed the up the process and make it more intense. This could, be, a clear, this could we, be any go anyway. I'm putting a five minute time limit just so we can get our juices going. So I think Jin Sakai's the weakest. Yeah. So I think I so. Are we gonna have a rating? Are we gonna have a rating of like fuck boy to husband material? <laughs> like, this isn't this isn't personality or lifelong mate. This is the category is literally called hottest, hottest dude. dude. I know. Yeah, hottest dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think Jin Sakai can go. Jin Sakai, oh. that's a nice fifth place. Not Lord Sakai. That, that's a nice fifth a place. Great job. Nice Alright. Lord Sakai. I haven't played Hades, but Zagreus seems solid. I'm going to go Carlos number one. Hmm. Hmm. Honestly, I'm going to say Carlos wins too, if only because of the things that I said earlier. I appreciate a man that can carry all the groceries in. <laughs> Zagreus. I'm going to have to give it to Zagreus. You're giving. I'm you're just, going Zagreus. I just have to. Yeah. Oh yeah. I have uh, no yeah. other options. I think I True. second. I? As much as I want Carlos, because you know Carlos, he could any get other it. year. Like any so other Zagreus, year. Zagreus, oh, I absolutely. have to agree. I have to agree with uh, Mason. Is that right. uh, Zagreus is not my number one? All right, next to see you are. You're <laughs> yeah. the tiebreaker. Zagreus. I mean, he's just a sexy guy. He's got to be number one. He's the clear I don't get it. Uh, Why don't you look at other, anything other than that dude's sexy? Like, I get that. That's the thing. I'm all for it. That, too, but like, oh, that, list but of, like, that list of guys, any other any other <laughs> year. Any I other need year. a personality and tangent. Oh, Zachary is a personality? What do you mean? I know he does, but, I, but what, the last time I played 80s what, like, was like during, during the Game Awards last year. Oh. Sarah, <laughs> I, I regret to inform you, but it seems like your category has been demolished Got hijacked. you know what that's okay uh, because they all hold a special place in my heart and that's all that matters all right so the official game session <laughs> hottest dude award game goes to zagreus Woo! The with a, cl- was a lesbian 
with a with a close. Uh, <laughs> we appreciate you as a tiebreaker. <laughs> with a close runner-up of uh, Carlos. All right. Where Carlos is going to win more of this from like other fucking outlets. I'm just going to be depressed. You guys slept on a good boy. <laughs> you, you guys are going to make Marlene cry. F- poor fucking Papa Barrett. Hey, he did great. He did a really <laughs> good job. Thing. All right, uh-huh. we're going to move on to uh, best moment and keep in mind um, just some stuff going forward might have some slight spoilery stuff. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of like announce the name. Fun. What was that? Can I read these? Read these off again. It's fun. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Hell yeah. Um, okay, so for best moment, we have shooting a hole into Mars using yourself as live ammo from Doom. Which honestly sounds like 2020 in a, in a nutshell. Uh, the theater fight from The Last of Us 2, which I can totally get get behind. Uh, some set pieces in Ori, which is escaping the dungeons and stuff. All of the Easter eggs in uh, Astrobot, which again, so I can get behind. The dance scene in Final Fantasy VII re- Remake. Perfect. <laughs> uh, getting one-shotted by Tom Berry in the Final Fantasy Remake. <laughs> remake finally fucking beating the boss rush on final fantasy remake hard mode <laughs> I, I think you uh, missed one uh nemesis stalking you specifically oh, yeah. in the toy nemesis shop you. that was fucking terrifying but, but we, we both Dude, he came into a safe area for me Ooh, like, oh shit uh yeah the double lighter or crafting your own what's that from? oh whoops someone spelt checked my shit lightsaber oh from, okay. from fallen order oh, I just, oh okay lighter, and i was like uh, what is that about Zen actually being good. Oh, from Fall Black Order. Mesa. Black oh, Mesa. Black Mesa, yeah. Okay, oh, did not yeah. play that. Being the imposter in uh, Among Us, obviously. The Bugs <laughs> next twist. We're not going to say what that twist is because that game is too new. Yeah. Um, getting MVP. This time, getting MVP in Siege when you absolutely suck. <laughs> uh, the re- the reveal in Tell Me Why. Uh, and I don't. I, I don't really want to spoil that because it's, it's too, too new. new. It's too new. Uh, booting up the PlayStation 5 for the first time. That's uh, it twice. The Bastion reveal in Sh- in World of Warcraft Shadowlands and winning a battle royale for the for the first time. All right. Well, a lot of good things. There's a lot of mm-hmm. good interesting things. Corey, you weren't on last time. You want to go and take a first round stab? Yeah, sure. Um, so. Out of all of these, I'd say I've played maybe like a handful of these moments, um, but I'll give my best shot. The Tell Me Why reveal was really freaking good. Um, yes, it is. It's, it's really just awesome. that whole game is emotionally ground shocking, just groundbreaking, but uh, shell shocking is what I meant to say. Um, so that's on my list. Uh, I would say Nemesis is eh. Like, it's spooky, but it's like. I feel like with that one, it depends. I think it's on a toss the up. Yeah, What's the timing? For me, it depends on the timing. But when you look at at the right time, because to me, I wasn't expecting it, and I looked, and I had to like quickly spin the camera back around and be like, "Oh, mm-hmm. he's just staring at me." <laughs> yeah, for for those that don't know, there's um, there's that's there's an entire area like in what you can consider like the first big big part of resident evil 3 remake where nemesis is just chasing you around he doesn't stop he's just constantly coming for you oh, yeah. but there's one specific toy shop you go and he doesn't he doesn't barge down the door so you're like okay i'm just gonna look for <laughs> items and you you look around he's just standing in front of the yeah. window just staring you down you're like, like oh there, fuck. there's no other way out of that toy shop you have to go out through yeah, the so door yeah you just yeah. have to like you just have to sit there and think it's, yep. it's terrifying <laughs> yep uh, the bug snacks twist is again pretty good. Um, being the imposter in Among Us, hmm. I feel like that one's really hard because it happens more than once. A lot of this yeah. stuff only happens once, so it's more shocking because it only happens that one time. You can be True. the imposter a bunch if, of times in like if, a couple. If of you days. want, we can change it to successfully lying as the imposter. No, because you can also do that multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I feel um, like with this, the, you need something that only happens once. You guys just yeah. want to go ahead and mark that off, then? Yeah, just scratch that off. Uh, okay. That's, that's, yeah. Um, booting up the PS5 for the first time. So this 
actually only ever happens one time. Yes, and I miss it. So, and it's beautiful. Because of my TV. Because <laughs> of my yeah. TV, I missed it. I'm, I'm, I'm sad. Um, yeah, it, 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 it's... You have to turn on your TV and make sure all your settings are like at the right settings before you turn on your PlayStation. Mason and I went time. through a lot to get ours, so it was a very beautiful. It was a beautiful moment for me. Mm-hmm. So I'd say I, that I, deserves I, to be in the top five. Um, I personally put that there because it was to me it was the start of a new console generation. Just seeing that boot up and be like, oh, holy it's fuck, official. We're like we're at the, the we're at the start line now. It's this is it. Yeah. Is last gen. <laughs> yeah. That's bullshit. Um, if I had to pick one to strike off just from just from taking a quick look, I would maybe say Bastion's reveal in Shadowlands, where it looks cool, where it's like showing you this whole area <laughs> from like an aerial view. But I just don't think it'll stack up in the end. No, I mean I put that there strictly because when you get there, it's just this beautiful sweeping shot of this like glowy blue, just fucking golden landscape that's so different from everything else. I mean, it's definitely. I mean, it's definitely a moment for like you and I, Jose. But it's not like for everybody, which I totally understand. Yeah, I think I, I might also just go in and strike uh, winning a battle royale because mm. they've been around for a yeah. while. Go even ahead. if my yeah. first one was this year. Specific either. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna cut getting one shot by the Tom Barry and Seven remake. Only yeah, did that moment not piss you off? As, as someone who's... I've been around the block with Final Fantasy, right? I've played <laughs> most of them. I have a couple thousand hours into the MMO. Uh, I already saw I saw that coming. <laughs> I saw the Tom Barry and I, I immediately knew what I had to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm and fine it with fun cutting seeing it. seeing other people get, get caught off guard by it, but I don't know if it was that great a moment only because I already I, what was up. I'm not sure about this one. I mean, I know I, ha- I haven't even really played Final Fantasy VII Remake, but I feel like uh, mm-hmm. finally beating the boss rush on uh, FF7R hard mode is very situational. Not yeah. everyone's really going to yeah. do that. Um, <laughs> I, pick one. I, I think if you have, I think that if you have beaten hard mode, you would know how much of a freaking... I, I can't even find the word for it. I was so fucking relieved. That was like probably one of the most aggravating things I've ever done in my life. Yeah. And when I was done, I, I was like, I am so fucking proud. Like this, like, like fuck Dark Souls, fuck the Soul series, like that. <laughs> this moment. <laughs> that's how I, I so felt with I, the, I, uh, I, that's how I felt with the KH3 uh, DLC boss fights. <laughs> so so I, I will fight to ha- to have that one specifically on here for a while. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Uh, um, you know, I Mesa, do you want to make some cuts? I would add, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Like, problem is, like, I haven't. This year has been a, a really focused year for me, so like, I only have like three of these, and so I don't really feel like I don't really feel like I can cut anything because I wasn't, I didn't do it, you know. Uh, I guess I we can cut. I'm sorry, good. Because uh, the three that I did don't deserve to be on this list. Which are. Um, the like, PS5 bug snacks. The PS5 um, bug snacks. The Fallen Order, like 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 just stumbling upon getting a double lightsaber, and then like the Easter eggs and Astrobot, which you know, as someone who's never felt like a PlayStation person, they felt like a hey, come on in, bud, come here, yeah, join ha- join us, have fun. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say we can take off the getting MVP and Siege just because it's been oh. out. Yeah. Listen, man, I suck at that game. It was a fucking year defining moment for me. Um, are you, is everyone fine with taking Zen actually being good off? Yeah, yeah. I, as impressive as it is, I didn't play Black Mesa. I watched the playthrough of it, but I played the original. And as impressive as it is that they took that area that is terrible, that's where most playthroughs of Half Life One end. Because it's like I don't want to play this anymore. Like mm. the fact that they made it good is uh, definitely impressive. But I don't know if it would uh, if it would qualify for best moment. Mm. I'm I'm gonna say is um as stunning as the Ori set pieces are when you're kind of like escaping every dungeon at the end, like as the water is coming up. Um, I don't know if it necessarily tops anything else on here. I never played mm. Ori, so I can't. You're a bad person. Yeah, Ori's on the list. You want to keep Ori? Ori is on my backlog. <laughs> that, that's, oh, that's on the list today. By, that's oh, what okay. I meant by on my list. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Alright, All right, so I'm going to take that off. Uh, I, I guess the ones that I'm 
probably going to argue for to be in the top five would be, let's see, uh, the theater fight from The Last of Us, the Easter eggs from Astro, uh, Final Fantasy VII hard mode, booting up the PS5, and then probably for me personally is going to be Nemesis stalking you in the toy shop, Mm -hmm. but that one's probably not going to make it. Uh, Can I give my top five? Yeah. So uh, for me, it would be the, the, the... Theater fight, the last was two, Easter eggs and Astro, booting up the PS5 for the first time. And for me, it's actually going to be the Tell Me Why re- reveal and the Bug Snacks twist. Because I personally didn't see the Bug Snacks twist coming. I know some of us did, but I personally didn't. Uh, and for me, Tell Me Why's twist was just too good. Mm-hmm. And it was something that I, like, I didn't even see it coming. And I searched every inch of that game and did everything I could, and I even got it wrong. Like I, I, I had an idea on what it what it was, and I got it wrong. And Corey can understand this. It just was in a game that was so emotionally driven. Reaching that point of finally knowing, like, just a big overarching question. I'm trying to say it without spoiling it. Like, just figuring well, basically, out basically, like yeah, big overarching question. Knowing exactly what actually happened. Hmm. Hmm. I think we're just going to have to trust you on the impact. I've downloaded it twice. Uh, I'm, I'm going to play it. I'm going to get it's the title. It's the title of a Backstreet Boys song. Come on. I, <laughs> I'm probably the strongest Doom advocate on here. And as cool as I think this moment is, I'm going to go and take it off. No, I was just, just about to mention. That you're about to mention probably it? Probably one of the best ones. I mean, it, it's like he tells you, like, you need to get to this place. What do you do? You you stuff yourself into a giant canyon. You kick out the giant freaking plasma cannonball. You launch yourself through <laughs> space, crash into a building, not a scratch on you. I think and he's like, how do I get to Mars? Me, you got to blow a giant the hole. The thing what? that makes it for me is everyone around you going, you really should not do this. Hey, can you stop? Can you please <laughs> can stop you doing stop? this? And then this you is- like, you're like climbing it in and I'm just like, oh, God. All right. Whatever. Isn't this illegal? I really, I really <laughs> like that moment. I They're like that was cool. you. Well, yeah, I know uh, what's what's the robot the dude's name? It's uh, Samuel Hayden. He's like, you yeah. can't just blow a giant hole into Mars. Yeah. Five minutes later, I think blow that's a giant really hole what into makes Mars. That scene, personally. All right, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. Um, for I'm, seven remake, because I I feel like at this point there shouldn't be two from the same game on there. I'd probably pick the dance scene over the over the boss rush. Yeah, as cool as the boss rush on hard mode is. Damn. <laughs> so and it's satisfying. So. I think and I'm going to be the only one that's going to fight for that. So yeah. I I concede. So Should I'm going to say something a little a little controversial, maybe <laughs> because I know we're all super nostalgia for like. Oh no, just, Corey. I know. I say, I say, th- I say, I say this with the most love possible, but no. <laughs> I I need to say this. I need to say this. I know we're all super nostalgic for uh, all of PlayStation and the history of PlayStation, <laughs> but um, I feel like the Easter eggs of Astro Boy is <laughs> just is, Astro Bot. My bad. It's like one letter <laughs> off. Okay, it's a little. It, it's technically, like, it's, it's yeah. Astro's oh. playroom, Corey. <laughs> yeah, on, Astro, Corey. When he jumped onto this, when he, st- when he jumped on the start button and he heard the PlayStation One intro. <laughs> yes, but that's the thing. It's all nostalgia. It's I, nothing yeah. else. It's all At nostalgia. Moments, there, the there's a ten list. Why is that a problem? We have I a know. specific. It's, I feel like it's a gimmick. It's a gimmick. I would like you know to what? Make an argument for what R- I think R- should should should. Win really, really just, just, just real quick off of this, I, as much as I don't want to, I agree with Corey because we have a c- yeah. category specifically for nostalgia. So okay. I also think as, uh, for Easter eggs and Astro, I think in a top ten, hovering around seven and eight is like perfect for that. I wouldn't put it in the top five. Again, mm-hmm. I would like to make an argument for the for for something off this list that should one hundred percent win, and it's the booting up the PS five for the first time. Cause it's a moment that can only happen once. Yeah. Uh, unless you factory oh, reset your PlayStation. Trick. Well, unless you factory reset your PlayStation, no one's gonna fucking do that. Mm-hmm. All right, we need to pick off some weak ones. Um, <laughs> if I had to I would pick say one, the double lightsaber can go because you could easily look up a guide on on how to get that. I mean, that goes for anything. Yeah, but like, like when you have like anything game spoiled for and you, you go to the place, like, damn it, I can't do this yet. All right, let me turn around and start. Oh. 
Yeah, it, I it feel just, like that it hits so hard. Is what propels it really, really? Hard. It hits so hard when you get it. I'm gonna pick um, Nemesis in the toy shop. Yeah. Everyone cool with that? Because, yeah, because no, it's a, like it's, it's a remake, whatever. and I feel like. I, it's a remake, and I feel like anybody who played the original Resident Evil Three, like they already got a dose of Nemesis stalking. So, yeah, but I All feel right. like it that raises the game's tension. Yeah, well, I mean, and in the in the, the original, horror. that's not something that happens at all. You don't. Yeah, that that's not something that happened in the original. I remember in the I remember, in the, I remember in the original I remember in the original him showing up in like an alleyway, yeah. and I like hid in a safe room, I mean, and he was like right outside the door. I'll be honest, in the original, he's really not all that intimidating once you yeah, kind of figure he's out not. the deal. Especially because every every encounter you have the chance to yeah. run away. Mm-hmm. And half of the time he doesn't follow you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, there are three things on here that are very spoiler heavy. Do we necessarily need to get into why those belong here? As someone who hasn't played any of those, please don't. Yeah. Okay. You bug snacks. Okay, okay. All but one of them. Excuse me. So, I'm going to say this without any spoilery words at all. I'm going to try really hard. So, the theater fight in The Last of Us Part 2 is essentially the pinnacle climax of the game. Yeah. And it's very important in narrating one of the game's prime topics. That's all I'm going to say. I think like it feels weird to put it out like this, but like the perfect narrative to me growing up was give me. I can't even talk about it. Fuck. Why Mesa? <laughs> <laughs> um, the, hey, it, hey man, is, I, I made my choices. All right? It takes the inherent medium of gaming and it pits you in a fight that a, that that a movie would not have been able to do, that a book yes. would not have been able to it's do. It, it, to and the, it, the the fact that it had the intended effect that I would have never anticipated from playing the first game, I think that is the absolutely most powerful moment on this list. It pivots everyone's expectations on its head. It's like, like as much as I like the Doom one, and I'm and I'm right there with uh, Sylvia on that. Um, one is obviously a very emotional thing. The other one is just a very almost like almost like slapstick uh, kind of comedy. Yeah, but I mean, you could also say that the Final Fantasy remakes uh, dance scene is also slapstick that, comedy. That dance it, it's it's so memorable. Great, it's yeah. damn good. <laughs> Getting that trophy also, was a pain in the ass, though. It's not that so slapstick that, oh, because con- comedic doesn't negate it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't think I don't think comedy should negate anything especially because like the bugs next twist i was laughing but laughing from literally the absurdity of it plus to the extent that like the theater fight in last of us is <laughs> something that is only really accomplishable oh that's not a real word can only really accomplish something like that in a video game from a narrative perspective i'd say the same thing about uh the scene with doom it's awesome and you couldn't do something that cool in a movie uh to back you up real quick accomplishable is a word it is a word. Hey, I'm pretty smart. <laughs> but it's like the, the 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 thing is, there not everyone not everyone here played Doom Eternal or played it to the point where we got to that part. And like, I totally understand you guys being super into it. And I'm totally here for it. But it's just like, yeah. Like, so this, but the, but also, but also, with that said, the same logic can be applied with Bug Snacks and the PS5. That's true. Mm-hmm. Well, everyone here has a PS5. Yeah, I'll be on PS5. I almost I'm more as, willing as, to drop the bug snacks twist than I am for the PS5 yeah. opening. Yeah, I, as someone who missed it, yeah, go ahead. I I kind of mm-hmm. want yeah. to drop mm-hmm. the PS5 one just because I feel like this should probably just be more about the games mm-hmm. than anything. Yeah, That's true. It's the game system, so it's the same. I know, but. Uh, I don't know. It's not, and it's. I, I kind of have to agree with Jose because it's not an actual mm. game. It's just like the beginning of a user interface. Um, it's more technology rather than a, a. You know, I mean, I know video games. But then why would you argue like, that some best moment list have like stuff from E3 or like 
game re- re- reveals on it. Okay, you have a good point there. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? This is very hard. This is very hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, it's that's that's the only reason to me is that's still technically a video game moment because that's you booting up one of the first next gen consoles. Okay, but we're not. We're we're just we're just trying to figure out the top five here. So and I'm willing. Uh, right, right. I'm also I'm also willing to drop lightsaber after PS5. I'm willing to drop lightsaber after PS5. Yeah. All right. I think we need to just pick. Make it the six. No, no. Because if you drop bug snacks, if you drop uh, blue PS5, if you drop lightsaber, then we're done. I think the lightsaber can probably go. Yeah, I, I think bug snacks can probably go too because it, it is a it is a really big reveal, but it's like a really silly reveal. And I mean, it, 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 I mean, it's probably game is silly. That's just the game. Eating the stuff that we said earlier. No, I know it's just the game, but it's like I don't think it belongs in the top five. If that makes sense, like I mean, I don't know. I could argue that it does, but that's I fine. Think so. <laughs> All right, um, I'm for number one. I'm gonna vote theater fight with Doom in a close second. I'm going to go Doom with FF7 Dancing at second and probably Theater Fight at like a hard third. Uh, okay. Booting up the PS5 as one, tell me why, is re- reveal at two and the Theater Fight at a three. Um, I'm going to say uh, booting up PS5 for the first time as one, Theater Fight as two and tell me why reveal as three it's weighted voting folks this is how we should do elections i mean <laughs> this is a well mesa call. can't mesa what, what would you go for I, I i i literally didn't experience any of these <laughs> shit okay well, well then you don't get it say ff7 because you're my friend <laughs> say the theater. All right, so there, I, there's the answer. Oh man, I didn't think it was gonna be that easy. I mean, I I just don't think it should go to the PS5 boot just I because think, it's not I a think, game that like that's the odd one out. Like if we had multiple. Then five, why the hell is it like all these other lists have like E3 moments? On that's it? Sarah. You gotta listen to what Sarah's saying because but Sarah, that's not Sarah's ours. Making a good point with that. Because like there's... I remember how when like the year of the Final Fantasy VII remake was announced or like the year that kojima announced death death stranding just out of nowhere a lot of best moments lists had that shit on there because yeah but that's not our best moments best moments could mean in gaming history throughout the year yeah Mm -hmm. you know to me it shouldn't just count as games like i'm gonna argue for this i agree i think we need two separate categories i i'm gonna argue (laughs) hard to tell let me i know this is this is i know this is like mostly playstation but like how was the how was the booting up the Xbox Series X for the, the first exact time? Same, <laughs> it? It the exact same, wasn't it? The exact same. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Cool. And like, and like, if the Switch was on, the Switch was here. Like you know, the, the little like happy little party fanfare that plays the first time you open it up and you never hear it yeah. again. Yeah. It's great. So yeah, I think I think I think a PS5 definitely deserves to be on the list. Mm-hmm. I will. If I argue for anything today, it's going to be that. Yeah. All right, so we're going with PS5. I have won. I will now leave. Goodbye. You bunch of traitorous wieners. (laughs) I'm out. Yes. How is Neil Druckmann going to notice me now? (laughs) (laughs) And now that he's the fucking VP of Naughty Dog, Mm. he has too much shit on his hands. Literally and figuratively. All right, let's move on to the next category where I can probably cry some more. Can I... Can I read the next category? Yes, go, oh, ahead. go ahead, please. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this category is for best characters: Doom Guy from Doom, Ichiban from Yakuza, Ellie from The Last of Us Part Two, Abby from The Last of Us Part Two, Miles Morales from Spider Man Miles Morales, <laughs> Carlos from Resident Evil Three Remake, Jill from Resident Evil Three Remake, uh, Kasumi from Persona Five Royal, Maruki from Persona Five Royal. Jin Sakai from Ghost of Tsushima, Barrett from Final Fantasy VII Remake, Aerith from Final, Se- Final Fantasy VII Remake, Astro from Astrobot, um, <laughs> Astro's Playroom, <laughs> Astro's Playroom, yeah, uh, Blathers from Animal Crossing, that's one I put, KK Slider, Animal Crossing, uh, Pavardi from Outer Worlds, Zagreus, you're also spelling his name wrong, whoever's putting him on this list. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, Cal- Wait, Outer Worlds didn't come out this year. Yeah, it didn't. It came out last year. Mm-hmm. Bye, Pavardi. Okay. I love you, but bye. bye. Pavardi. Yep. Uh, Cal Kestis? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Fallen Order. This is Fallen Order, Fallen, yeah. Star Wars Fallen Order. He's just a uh, nice boy. That's He's right. just a nice uh, boy. Oh, that's right. Cal, duh. Okay. Um, Gabe from Gear Tactics and Philbo Fiddle Pie. Oh my god, from Bug Snacks. <laughs> Mayor, uh, Mayor, Mayor of Snacksville. Snacksburg. Snacksburg. I was going to say, don't get it wrong. So, I'm getting names wrong all day today. <laughs> all right, th- this is this is going to hurt. I'm going to take the Persona Five Royal characters off because you guys yeah. haven't played it, and yeah. I don't th- like. I I would go to bat for them, but against some of these other right, uh, characters, they're, they're not going to stand see up. You later, that's fair. <laughs> Bye. The question mark was there for a reason. Not going to say why. Mm. I almost I said why when I saw when I saw GOT after Jin Sakai. Game I of Thrones. Said Game of Thrones. Yeah, I was about to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Game of Thrones. Yeah. Uh, I would take Game Carlos Thrones, over great. Jill and Barrett. Honestly, I might take. Mm, I would take Barrett over Aerith, but that's just me. Because I would take Jill over Carlos. Ooh. All right, let, let's go for the obvious eliminations. <laughs> yeah. I don't. We have a fight on her. I don't think Gabe belongs on this list. Boo! He's just kind of like a generic good dude. He's a he, very good dude. So what? He's a good douche. <laughs> I don't know. I I, it's, I don't think he's like a standout. I think he's good for that game. But not <laughs> like if I think of like what are his personality characteristics? Like nothing obvious good is like dude. jumping in mind. He's he's a good dude. I would take any, any disputes Slider off if Blathers is already on. Because I think Blathers mm-hmm. is a lot more interesting and a lot more fun than KK Slider. It's the KK Slider. It is the KK Slider, but I don't know. I just like but I love he's only Blathers. he's only is, on your island once a week. Blathers it, is there all, all week. Is Blathers a new Animal Crossing character? No. no. Is KK Slider a new no. character? No. No. They've both been Should in we take the, But they're new the iterations for New Horizons yeah, though. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And I mean, Barrett and Aerith are new characters. Neither is yeah. 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 yeah, that's true. If you take them nope. off, you got to take or off Doom Final Guy. Fantasy or Astro. Or Doom Hell, Doom Guy is the oldest guy on this list. <laughs> or Joe <Jill> or Carlos. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Yeah. Um, Doom Guy's too old. Also, that would also count for Ellie too, because yeah. mm-hmm. Ellie's not a new character. Okay. That's um, true. If, we, if we can, no, if I mean, we can, if we're going really like the only real new ones are Ichiban, <laughs> Abby. Uh, As- or not Astro, Zagreus nope. and Cal. Those are the only new characters. No, Philbo's new. Oh, Phil Mil- yeah, yeah. Miles Phil Morales and is technically new. Philbo and Jin. Oh, yeah. I guess. Well, no, because he's he's from 2018. I. That's. Oh, but right. he's a playable character now. You can play him in 2018. You can play him in 2018. Wait, really? Yeah, you play him yeah, for like 20 minutes. Oh, that's <laughs> he has his little stealth I segments. Do. And there's a, a, Miles. And there's like oh, apparently yeah. apparently in his second section, there's a guard you can lure away, and when you do that, you can just walk through the entire city. Yep. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I think I don't think Jin Sakai is gonna stack up. Yeah, sorry, sorry, Lord. Jin Sakai is a cool character, but I don't think He's kind of... He's too much of a... Sh- he plays it too straight for the majority yeah. of the game. He's he's honestly, I think, one of the least interesting characters in that game. Absolutely. I think Cal yeah. might be able to go, too. Cal, Cal is, like Cal is Cal. okay. He's such, he's he's such a good boy. He's like a when, nice boy. <sighs> but when I, when I walk away he's from Fallen better. Order, I'm not thinking about, like, wow, Cal was like such a great character. I'm thinking, that was a good Dark Souls game. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, Star Wars Dark Souls. Yeah. <laughs> and I will say, I'm thinking more about like the Night Sister characters too. All right. Which is, I do like Cal. He is like very Cal. Nice, sweet boy. He's Can like we... an interesting white guy. <laughs> That's true. Interesting That's white. pretty I rare. One weird, of those. He has weird hair. I was very disappointed when it was just like, oh yeah, the, the main character is just a white guy and not like a cool alien or or any. Any form of representation we could give, and they still made me care about Cal by the end of that game. Yeah, I will say that if if you want to give Cal anything, give him the fact that he looked boring as fuck when they first showed him, yeah. and then you play the game, you're like, oh, he's actually adorable, and is a good a good boy. I um, think we can take Astro off. 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Astro's, Astro's a fun really... player character, but it's not that much going on. For um, I, I would take characters off that aren't new. Because, like, yeah, these characters are from remakes and stuff, but, like, they're not new. I'd say I think the only person Zoo you could even Carlos, lead. but I think Baron Aerith are different enough from the original. No, I mean that I, would I would also would argue say. that if we're going by that, Carlos is a lot different than he Actually, was in yeah, the original. I would agree with Carlos and not with <laughs> he is. <laughs> he was like was he was so freaking like. You're right. Carlos is a new character. I didn't think. Uh, <laughs> he's in- incredibly stereotyped in the first Resident Evil. He was 3. like a surfer bro, or not even a surfer bro. He was like a stereotypical Mexican dude. Yeah. Like, and then now he's like this completely different person in in three. Yeah. So I would say like I mean, don't I get me wrong, think... he's still trying to get into Jill's pants, but he's yeah. like more realistically. I I think <laughs> I think <laughs> he's trying to get his... he's yeah, I'm... charming this time. <laughs> yeah. He's incredibly char- charming. Like yeah. I think for me, uh I, I do think Doom Guy belongs on this list just because <laughs> of the personality shows and the way that he interacts with the world, the especially he... as mm-hmm have as much personality as he has without literally literally without talking is very impressive i haven't played yakuza so i can't necessarily go to bat for ichiban ellie i i would probably choose abby over ellie yeah so specifically like she has so more I. development <laughs> going on can can those of who have played it agree to that at least yes yeah just because i feel like we've seen ellie's character before and um Granted, there's some new emotions she's going through in that game. It, yeah. It's it's still the same character, you know. Are we good to take Ichiban off since most of us have not played it? Yeah, yeah as as yeah. cool as I've heard Ichiban is, I haven't played his game. I can't. Sorry, I know. Sorry, Blaine. I know if I played it, he probably deserves to be on this list, and yeah. dare I say, probably would deserves to win it. I haven't played it, so if I think I played, Mile he'd probably be my fourth. I, th- I think Miles deserves to stay on this list. <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Think, oh yeah, hundred percent. I think Carlos um, deserves I'll it. Find over addresses. Jill. Oh yeah. I feel like I feel like Carlos. He won in top five of hottest guys. So <laughs> yeah, but like, <laughs> let the streak continue, my dude. <laughs> it's like to me, he's the most. And this gonna sound really weird in, in context, but like bear, bear, bear with me. He's the most remake part of Resident Evil Three. Absolutely. Re- re- I remember yeah. Carlos. I don't remember as hard as they did on. I would. I would drop him. Jill. Yeah, yeah I, I remember like, I Carlos. I don't remember Jill. Done, but I would keep Carlos over Jill one hundred percent. Not well, that yeah, I don't love and, Jill. And honestly. I Somebody who li- literally played the crap out of the original and the remake of Resident Evil 3, Jill is actually typically kind of the same character as she was in the original. She's just um, more human. She's more human now. And she, she, yeah, it's more modern takes of things. Mm-hmm. But, like, typically her personality is, like, kind of similar, you know? So, mm-hmm. um, as far as Barrett and Aerith go, I think Barrett shows a incredible amount of emotion in both like what he's trying to achieve as well as uh protecting his daughter and I, um i personally keep both i think i, th- yeah, I, th- I think i, really I think Aerith has like a lot of as his, his very playful even uh sarcastic mm-hmm. and joking personality i that would wasn't... argue that Aerith's not the same character <laughs> yeah so spoiler Aerith, alert spoiler Aerith alert in ff7 original you don't quite I'm, get the full scope of his character until like until around when you get to the golden saucer and he hears backstory and stuff. In FF7 remake, without going into what his like actual backstory is, you don't know how he lost his arm, how he got the gun arm, all that. You see the full scope of Barrett's character, and it's it, he's really really cool. He's a lot. He's a very dynamic character. Um, like, I'm um, gonna I'm gonna be a little so- yeah. self sac- sacrificial right now and just say you can get rid of the Animal Crossing characters because they yeah. quite literally are the same. Yeah, I would. Think <laughs> I guess we're like, crossing them. They've like off. been there the whole time. Yeah. They just have like yeah. island skins on them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, s- someone vouch for Zagreus. I have not played Hades. Uh, Zagreus is a guy. good boy. He's also he is a good boy. He actually Ooh. loves. He actually does love his father. He just has a weird way of showing it. He also loves dogs. So. Does he, he belong on this list? Um, I think so because going off of what Mason said, um, he is mm-hmm. one of the most I- emotionally intelligent characters that I I think me and him have have played in a game before. Um, and there's there's just a lot of depth to 
at first there isn't much depth to what or to why he's doing what he's doing but then as you go through the game like there is a lot of depth there and and so many different reasons of like why he does what he does okay um who's gonna go to bat for philbo i will go to me and <laughs> me Corey and Mason. Well, I mean, Philbo, Philbo is just soft boy mayor he, material. He is just, just... He just wants to bring people together. He's <laughs> just like a huffle... I wish, a hu- I wish I didn't have to bring in re- We won't reference that. Never mind. My is bad, he my the bad. best character? I wish I didn't have to bring in Bethica. <laughs> she doesn't deserve it. Philbo deserves <laughs> everything. Philbo deserves he, the world and the moon. He's like, like everyone's best here. friend. He's just everyone's best friend. He's um, so is, important. He's the, the first one that tries. As much as I like Barrett and Aerith, I don't think they're gonna win. Mm. I would I would drop Aerith before I drop Barrett. Because I think Barrett is a much more evolved version of the character that he is in FF7. More so than than even like mm. Carlos. Okay. Um mm-hmm. does everyone agree to drop Aerith? Plus, you know. Everyone She's got that, that clock. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Eric. Yeah, it's pretty great though. A lot of cool stuff going on. All right. I think at this point we should just kind of vote for who we want to win. Yeah. I'm, I think this I'm, is a manageable list. What? I had okay. my top three already, so I'll just give you. My yeah, top I do. Three. I do too. I, so I had, uh, I had Arif, then I had Miles, and then I had Barrett. Okay, so I, th- I think mine would be. Uh, I'm 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 still trying to pick an order in my head, but I'll just list them. It's uh, Doom Guy, Abby, and Miles. Uh, for me, it's uh, Carlos is one, Philbo is two, Zagria is three. Um, Miles, Zagreus, Philbo. All right, so Miles and Zagreus I, in the lead. I'd have to say. Ah, this is difficult for me. Just, You're the tiebreaker, dude. I, I I'd have Miles. to say I'd have to. Well, yeah, dude. I, I'd have to say Miles. I was Miles is just such a lovable character. Um, mm-hmm. And I think my second would be um, Zagreus, and then honestly, Abby. As as controversial as that may okay, be. Okay, I was yeah. gonna say I was gonna make a joke about the only woman in, in the top six and no one picked her. <laughs> no, I, I honestly think Abby is my third choice, yeah. Mm. I think uh just based off what everyone put out, it'd be Miles then. All right. Mm-hmm. Woo! He deserves Woo! it. Like he does, he does deserve it. Or Mesa, do you want to describe why Miles deserves this? <sighs> he he just Bot embodies everything that I love about Spider-Man. It's 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 no matter what you no matter how you feel and no matter what you're going through, you always still got to try to do the right thing and be the best version of yourself that you can be. I exactly. think the fact you can walk away f- from the game and know his exact personality, the way he would interact with people on the street, it, mm-hmm. it says a lot. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's a fully realized character. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Miles Morales wins. Hell yeah. Uh, similarly related, and we can go through some of these other ones uh, oh. faster. Right. Uh, best performance. So this, spe- so this is specifically how the actors perform. So we're judging that quality, not necessarily the character. Um, so we have Ichiban, who is voiced by uh, Kaiji Tong and, uh, for the English voice, and uh, Kazuhiro Nakaya for the Japanese voice. I haven't played it. I can't necessarily yeah. vouch. Both are good. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have Ashley Johnson as Ellie in The Last of Us, as well as uh, Laura Bailey as uh, Abby from The Last of Us. Um, for m- playing uh, Miles Morales, we have Naji Jatir. Uh, for Carlos from Resident Evil 3, we have Jeff Sheen, Shine. Uh, Jill for Resident Evil 3, we have Nicole Tompkins. Jin Sakai from Ghost of Tsushima, played by Daisuke Suji. Barrett from Final Fantasy VII Remake, f- uh, played by John Eric Bentley. Aerith from Final Fantasy VII Remake, played by Brianna White. Uh, Kel Kestis from Fallen Order, played by Cameron Monahan. And Philbo Fiddlepie, uh, portrayed by Max Middleman. 
That's I literally think... his, his name. I didn't fuck up on that. It's all good. So um, I, I, oh, go ahead. I, I just have to say straight off the bat, the two people I, I know for a fact I'm going to vote for is um, uh, Laura Bailey's Abby and uh, Naji Jatir's Miles Morales. Hundred percent. Yeah, I would that's, agree with that's that. That's what I'm voting for in the end. I yeah. think um, what's interesting to me about um, Baron and Aerith's performance in 7 Remake, I watched a bit of um, Brianna White as like a Let's Player and has like a Let's Play of the original Final Fantasy 7 she started doing with with John Eric Bentley uh, oh, nice. shortly before Remake came out. Ooh. And what's interesting is Brianna White had just kind of, she just knew about Aerith and she hadn't played much of the original. She was just kind of a general Final Fantasy fan. And John Eric Bentley had played the original FF7. And so it's Ooh. interesting to think that he might have had this voice for Barrett in his head for years. And now he has the chance to play that character and is and is finally like doing that voice that he imagined for Barrett when he first played it. I think it's <laughs> really fascinating. And I think so, make, it makes his performance great if for Barrett. For Barrett. Mm-hmm. For me, I would have to go between Jeff Shine's portrayal of Carlos, like making that character like an actual human being instead of just mm-hmm. like a stereotype like he was in the original game. Yeah. And also the fact that people seem to forget that Carlos is like 21 in Resident Evil 3 yeah. and he totally acts like a 21 year old. Um, and then two, I would actually Bro. do Max, Mac, Max Middleman's Fibbo, Fibble because like he made Phil, Philbo like this adorable like just ball of just love and friendship and just the way that he perks up at the beginning when he goes you're the journalist like that just like stuck with me like he was like so excited and so happy that like he he basically and just the way that he handles the like dry humor in bug snacks when he like walks up to people and, he, and, and he's like wa- when he's like talking to like Bethlehem and stuff and it's like oh i'm so happy you're here like it just like it's so well done and it's just yeah. so much fun to watch and like from from one of the play of Bug Snacks, he was definitely the standout for performance. Mm-hmm. Plus he, um, he if, was Ryuji in Persona 5. So yeah. for me personally for real? Bug Snacks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um Mason, who would you who would you go ahead and vote for? Um I just want to say it's not on this list. I, I didn't put it on this list just because, you know, I guess Phil Bo's here. But personally I would have put um uh uh uh, Yuri Lowenthal as um, Chanlo. Oh my god, I forgot uh, about Chanlo. <laughs> um, but but um, but for me personally, I would probably vote for um, uh, uh, Miles and then <sighs> Philbo. Yeah, Miles and Philbo. The boy. I'm going Miles so, and Barrett. I think. So also for some Besides of these so games. Like Fucking Miles is sweeping right now, dude. Yeah, he's, for, he's, for some yeah. of these games, the the actual voice actors, the characters were modeled after them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, they also the did. The same way, yeah. So are we it's also the including? Guy. Are we also including dot tracking acting? Because I know they do a lot of that acting would, in those suits. I think that would be its separate thing. Like I know, um, what's the character in Last of Us Two? Dina. The face model is completely different than um, mm-hmm. what, what's the, the actress's voice actress. name? Sh- Shannon Woodward. Two different yeah. people. True. Yeah, I wouldn't count that because like... I think it absolutely I, deserves its own thing it, that we'll have to like, do next it's like time. I'm 99% sure that Jeff Jeff Shine did Carlos's voice and his mocap, but he wasn't the face model. Okay, so this is just so, best voice performance. Yeah. Okay. All right, I think Miles wins what just based mean, off of Max. Votes. Max... Middleman was not was not. Based he can on, be the max loser. Stop the max middleman. <laughs> yeah. All right. Best original uh, song. I Very will light. say I do also <clears> have <throat> I have a shout out for a snub, but I feel like we can just snub. throw that in the best snub category. I'll All right. <laughs> so uh, best or- from a hard one to a fucking easy one. <laughs> yes. Uh, best original song. Just just uh, before we state the obvious, we'll go and put them. Uh, Bury the Light from Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. Um, Two songs from Doom because both are pretty good. I hate you. Uh, Cult of Space from Doom as well as The Only Thing They Fear Is You. Um, It's Bug Snacks from, uh, you might have guessed it, Bug Snacks. It's the next song that kids are going to be singing that's not going to be Baby Shark anymore. (laughs) Uh, One Winged Angel, the remake version from Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, uh, good riddance. Story, I guess. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Come on, it was there. Uh, good riddance mm. from Hades. I do like me some some uh, songs from what's the company that makes these games? I can't remember. Supergiant. <laughs> Super Giant. Super Giant. I actually yeah, Super Giant. I love. I love live, their music. Which is really pretty. Mm-hmm. Uh, dearly beloved, the jazz remix from uh, Melody of Memory. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I, I, we couldn't find the name, so I'm just going to call it what we put in the notes. Uh, whatever the fuck the menu theme is in Godfall. <laughs> I don't know what the name of it is, but I love that song to death. And I was just like, okay, this needs to be And there. Um, right. To the Edge from Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers. Um, <laughs> obvious win, uh, Bury the Light. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Without question. Yeah. I mean, right. I would, uh, that, so that's good. done. I uh my my uh very close second I'm I'm actually gonna get to that menu theme from a uh, Godfall because I think it's one of my favorite tracks of of this year that portrays the world that you're going into like this really intense like or orchestral like battle music that like totally encompasses the world that you're about to enter in in a Godfall so it's like a hella close second. I, I think um. Sarah, have you have you played through Virgil's uh, campaign? Yes, and, I have. Yeah. yeah, so like that's just kind of like his song, um, that's very the like, light, like as he's as he's playing theme, through battle theme, and so. just like even even outside the game, I'd been listening to that like in my freaking car on my way to work so for like for months. <laughs> it's like it's just it's just a good song. And encompasses three different characters in it, so it's freaking good. I don't it's think there's much else that needs to be said. Uh, sorry, everyone else that even bothered to come out this year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's too good. All right. So similarly related is uh, best soundtrack. We have Doom Eternal, Battletoads, Bug Snacks, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Hades, Ghost of Tsushima, Godfall, Ori, Miles Morales, The Last of Us 2, Yakuza, and Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Uh, quick question for you, Sarah. Yes. Should Melody of Memory belong on here if it's yeah. mostly comprised of older songs? Yeah, I totally think it deserves to be on here. Mostly because it brings together the best of the best Kingdom Hearts. I think that's difficult mm-hmm. to say, personally. I think if it's, it's like, all exactly. recycled material, I would, right. I would say no. Let's, let's phrase the question like this. What is your favorite Michael Jackson album? Well, my favorite is Michael Jackson's Greatest Hits. <laughs> that's my favorite, <laughs> yeah. that's, uh... my favorite nintendo ost is the smash brothers one <laughs> it is good. it's all the great ones i don't yeah, think you're think helping your case for me yeah oh no okay yeah i agree unfair. yeah that's that's a very good point <laughs> are there any original songs in melody of memory by any chance uh, the, the, the intro the, yeah the, the uh... are dope, though <laughs> It's the dearly beloved jazz theme, which was supposed and to be played at like a concert like five years ago that no one knew was going to be yeah. a thing. And also some of the ending songs that are spoilery. Yes. Yeah, there is there is brand new ending themes to it that are hella spoilery mm-hmm. that were not that were like brand new just for this. Mm-hmm. I game think as well, well, I think it's pretty obvious what I'm going to vote for. It's going to be uh, Doom Eternal one because the music in of itself <laughs> is good. You can listen to it outside the game. But the way it's implemented into the actual gameplay as you're murdering more people yeah. or demons, it just continues to amp up and amp up. So based on your actions, it corresponds. And it's just so fucking high octane the entire time. And like you, I, I cannot think of playing Doom Eternal without that soundtrack. Like like they're one in the same. It's, they're fucking perfect together. It's like fucking peanut butter and jelly. I feel like I feel like the Doom games have always have always been that way in the sense that like it, the music and the gameplay go hand in hand. So, I mean, we don't talk uh, about Doom Three, but yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to say that, like, for me, the um, the Miles Morales soundtrack is pretty freaking pretty solid mm-hmm. because from the moment that you're just like putting on the Spidey suit and the, the first time you start swinging around as Miles. And it just goes into the freaking music and you're and you're just all the dialogue is starting and it's just and then all the battle sequences like I don't know. It just does a really good job of uh, catching the tone of each moment. Yeah. I was definitely underwhelmed by um, Spider-Man PS4 soundtrack, but Miles Mm -hmm. Morales like being something that's not like generic Spider-Man music Mm -hmm. being like a thing really dope. 
it's really good. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say honorable mention to Yakuza for my friend Jamie and obviously friend of the show Blaine. The, the music in Yakuza Seven is really really good. Oh uh, yeah. Um, I would personally, I had gotta go with FF Seven remake though. How did they th- take all those songs from the original and make them new, but also true to the original? <laughs> It'd be so good. Um, I Hades, can't disagree there. Hades music is actually really good too. Mm-hmm. Um, being as it, it is a repetitive game, some of the music is repetitive. Um, but I think that's like on purpose. Uh, otherwise, mm-hmm. th- the music for this one is actually there's there's mostly instrumental, whereas past uh, super giant games have actually a lot of a lot of um, uh, lyrical songs and their albums usually tell a story of the game as you're playing through it. Um, and that's I feel like that's no different with Hades, but uh, it's definitely way more instrumental in that sense. So I feel like that's in my top five. I think I'm going to go ahead and strike Battletoads. Probably, I, th- I think I'm the only one that's played it. It's just like the entire game is basically just a homage to the 90s. Mm-hmm. So you got like super over the top 90s guitar riffs and solos, mm-hmm. but I don't think it's going to stand up. Mm. How's the music in Godfall, Sarah? Uh, it's just big orchestral. Okay. Hot like, Zimmer. Chanting in the background. It's, it's really, it fits the tone of like the medieval sci-fi epic that that the game's trying to go for if that makes sense i mean it's fine honestly i think the main menu but theme is built the best track in it but it's win, not basically. like it's not really memorable um i mean honestly only the menu theme is okay i think and and then some of the some of the boss themes uh macross's theme which is the ending boss his themes really fucking just like punch you in the face as he's punching you in the face so it's one of those I, things where it's like, oh, his music fucking is killer. And then all the other tracks are like... I would say the same thing about Bug Snacks. The only memorable part of the Bug Snacks is the, is the theme song. See, but like the one thing I like about the Bug Snacks sound, mm. soundtrack is that it's so incredibly... What's the word? Like, it's so incredibly, like, relaxing. I like, the snacks. I like yeah. the snacks Berg theme. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like very um, calm. That and the cute little jingle that plays whenever you catch a bug snack is really mm-hmm. just like mm-hmm. just like makes you smile like every time. The whole like doo doo. I I want to say I I'm probably not going to choose this over Doom Eternal, but Ori has some very emotional scenes in it, and the music mm-hmm. is fucking beautiful as shit. So and it brought fun, me to tears. So fun I'll say fact: that. I've not played the Ori games, but by chance, uh, my boyfriend was listening to uh, an ori song from those games it was like ori in the blind forest or something like that and and um that second one would be uh will the wisps will the wisps okay well it was from it was from the uh the ori soundtracks and i was like what is this i was like this isn't this isn't christmas music this is beautiful though (laughs) (laughs) i was like so just like hearing it for the first time i was like this is absolutely gorgeous I would cut Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, I think the music's fine, mm-hmm. but it doesn't. It's not really memorable, to be honest. It's just mm-hmm. like good. Are we cutting Bug Snacks? I mean, for I overall would, soundtrack, I would. Bug Snacks, yeah. but yeah, that's that's fine. <laughs> All right. Um, I feel no one's like talked it- about The Last of Us too. Like it's there, but it's yeah. not like um, it's not. It's, I wasn't. I feel like I was it, more impressed with the first game's soundtrack than I was the second one. I think well, it, it's kind of weird because with that game specifically, it's not. It's not always present. It's like there in key moments. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of more yeah. ambient noise for most of the game. If I recall. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we got the top five. We have Doom Eternal, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Hades, Ori, and Miles Morales. I'm I'm going Doom. Easy pick for me. Uh, All those zeros one, and ones, dude. The one, the one that I was gonna pick isn't on there anymore. I was gonna do bug snacks. Oof. That's that, that's fine. I think I'm gonna go with. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Hades, just because like Super Giant just does a really good job with their soundtracks in general, and Hades was definitely a hit a hit as well. 
Mesa. Mm, you have to go with Miles. Oh, man. Go with my boy. Just... <laughs> my child. Nexit. Oh, no, Nexus. You already said Final yeah, Fantasy VII. Said... Me hold. Final Fantasy VII. Sarah, you hold the power. I mean, I'm still going for bug snacks. I mean, the Final Fantasy VII one. Okay, well, we no one agrees. <laughs> <laughs> no contest. No contest. <laughs> cool. Stop. We just won't. We won't pick a winner. That's you know fine. what? Nexus. I think you and I are probably going to be the ones to either concede for either mm-hmm. Doom or Final Fantasy VII remake. The well, question is, who's, who's going to... Doom Eternal is that I like the soundtrack for the original Doom way more than the one for Doom Eternal. I disagree with you. <laughs> but I really like Final Fantasy VII Remake soundtrack. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with that. All right. Anyone else want to do any Monopoly uh, behind the scenes back backdoor yeah. deals? Backdoor deals. I actually did that one time. I... I, uh, I was playing Monopoly with friends. I'm just like, hey, let's combine our enterprises so we can squash the competition. The way totally that my Discord server does the game of the year, that kind of thing happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Almost constantly. Almost constantly. All right, so, uh, it was really winter. bad last year. It was really bad. There was a lot of yelling last year. <laughs> All right, so winner for soundtrack is Final Fantasy VII Remake best story this will probably be the longest one uh best story we have battle i'm just going to strike that no one else has played it it's more of a (laughs) it is a fun 90s cartoon ride that's all i'll say um final fantasy 7 remake gears tactics ghost of tsushima hades kingdom hearts melody of memory ori persona 5 royal spider-man miles morales tell me why last of us part 2 shadowlands which i don't think you've beaten yet have you sarah I did. Okay, never mind. Uh, Yakuza and Bug Snacks. Um, I think just because we have a bunch of other categories. So we probably won't even get through all of them today. I we might. I I do want to talk to Sarah about yes. a certain one that we need that we should, we should both address. Melody of Memory. So Melody of Memory is again, it's a it's a music game, and there's like fifteen minutes of actual I, new uh, new me content. So watch the cutscenes at the end. Yeah, so that's honestly why I would argue to keep that up there because what the game does reveal is like the shit that people wanted Nomura to re- reveal in the Remind DLC. We also got a full game of Kyrie, and also the game has an overarching story. It is Kyrie okay. going through her own memories trying to find out where Sora is. That's true. Okay. <laughs> all right all right all right i'll keep it up there i'll keep it up there all right i just wanted to no i'm not i'm not against it i just wanted no, to see no, your I opinion totally, i totally understand like, <laughs> like i totally oh. understand i just think the reveals that melody gives is extremely important to the series mm-hmm. even if I, it's like in 15 20 minutes worth of cutscenes i think just for <laughs> my two cents for that as cool as those reveals are <laughs> Mm-hmm. I don't think the storytelling and the way that they're pushed out are spectacular whatsoever. I, th- I think you're it's not, I think it's horribly not, not think of a Kingdom Hearts fan. I, I think it's horribly understand. sloppy. <laughs> I'm a we will we will fan, and I agree. <laughs> we will settle for crumbs. <laughs> I mean um we will I'm just going to go and that's what we're getting for the next 2 years. Leave us alone. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and say the game I'm voting for is Last of Us Part 2. Uh, I'm I'm torn between Shadowlands or Bug Snacks. Uh, tell me why is definitely on tell the me, top list. Tell me, yep, tell me, uh, tell me why. Also, I just had a brain fart. Forgot that was on the list. Too many people did not play. I will, that I, I, I will tell you my top three right now. My my top three are Tell Me Why, Last of Us Part Two, and Spider Man Miles Morales. Uh, tell me why Shadowlands and Bug Snacks. Nexus, you want to go in and go? Mm, I think I would put FF7 Remake at the top and then Miles Morales. And then... I'm not sure what I would put for third, to be honest. Damn. Oh, Last of Us Part 2 getting snubbed. But but being a remake, isn't it just the same story from the original? Yes. Yeah. Sna- slight spoiler, uh... Oh wait, There's no! My sister-in-law talked to me about this. I think I know where this yeah. is going. Okay, <laughs> it's a oh. remake, all right. It's remaking the entire universe. Yeah. Hmm. 
do you not fight God at the end of Persona 5 again? <laughs> <laughs> no, but True. you do fight a hot dude. For me, it's Miles and then Bucks Ooh. next. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to take Persona 5 off. And I'm going to take Gears Tactics, Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> is anyone like going to... I'll take I, Ori off. I don't think anyone else has played it. I, I will say... Well, yeah. And honestly, as much as we want to keep Kingdom Hearts up there, yeah. I feel like there's it's not enough content to be like up for best story of the year. Um, and then also, I, I don't know. I haven't played it, but maybe Sarah will, will fight for it. But Shadowlands... Mm. D it's DLC content. No, so. it's an expansion. It's, it's not. It's an expansion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Expansion okay. is completely yeah. different. Yeah. Okay. They're not okay. dolls. They're action enough. figures. I don't know enough, so don't stab me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if there was a 14 great. expansion this year, I would have that. For sure. okay. I haven't got into like the <laughs> super <laughs> juicy stuff for Shadowlands yet, but it, it's basically oh, my same. It's my same complaint with um, Melody Memory. It's like it's. The storytelling is so non-existent for long stretches of time where you're just doing like little side quests and giant zones. So the like storytelling to me is more than just, you know, like here are the plot points that eventually happen. And it's how cohesive is that experience? And I don't think Shadowlands is good on that front whatsoever. I mean, I personally think it is, but I've also been following WoW lore since I first started playing. So I wish you not to kill 15 spiders. You just think of it as a bunch of random quests. What I see is actual shit happening. Those those fifteen spiders need to be killed. I need their silk, dude. Mm. That's for a side so, side quest. So leave those spiders be some nice silk. alone. So I I personally think that Hades needs to stay on the list because yeah. um, it the, the the entire story is peppered throughout the entire game. You know, and even then, some it carries on after you complete the game. To, to an extent, I believe. Yeah. All right. I yeah. think we need to do a uh, top three votes then. Um, yeah, I mean, this will be easier for us. Uh, I'm going to go Last of Us Part 2. Um, Final Fantasy 7 Remake. And then Miles Morales. Uh, I'll go Tell Me Why, uh, Shadowlands, and Bugs. Oh, wait, excuse me. We're talking about bug snacks. <laughs> talking, <laughs> talking about bug snacks. Next. <laughs> and if you guys just want to type your things in or whatever, I already um, Sarah's. Everyone's talking about bug snacks. Yeah, I'll say, tell me why. Um, what did I say? The Last of Us Part Two? I believe so. And Miles Morales. Bug snacks and Hades are like a close fourth for me. Wait, so what did you put? You put uh, Hades first? No, I put Tell Me Why first. Okay. Um, and Last of Us. Last of Us Part 2 and then Miles Morales third. Play that game, huh? uh, it's Mesa. so good. You really gotta play Tell um, Me Why. So Miles good. and then Bug Snacks. And I, if I have to pick a third, I'll pick Final Fantasy because of Nexus. Hell yeah. See, that's called friendship. That's called companionship. <laughs> I say that's emotional All manipulation. Right. But uh, next. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> Nexus, what's your, what's your list? I have to go for the Final Fantasy VII remake, and then Miles Morales, and then I mean, from what I played of Bug Snacks, I really liked. Uh, I liked it enough that I'm definitely going to go through and play through the whole thing. But I haven't beaten it, and, but all right. I, we're all talking about I'm Bug Snacks. Of everything else on this. <laughs> All right. Well, the two that are tied would then be Miles or Final Fantasy VII Remake. Let's flip a coin. I would. I would say Final Fantasy VII over Miles. I'd say. I seven would say over Miles. Miles, just because there's so much more of it. I would. Yeah, I would say Miles because it's also. There's a more. There's more originality there. I didn't play Miles, so I can't speak about it. It's, so I would just have to go tight, find over It's a tight thing. little neat it's package. A tight, nice little package, though. <laughs> are we talking about the game, or are we talking about <laughs> but, if, <laughs> but, if, like, but if, like, you say neat and Namora, that shit doesn't exist, but that's why we love him. Mm. Neat right. and Namora don't go together, well, man. While our boy Miles well, is uh, sweeping right. again. Um, yeah, Ooh. I think so. Exactly. Mesa, you need to play The Last of Us too, buddy. <laughs> 
I will get to it, all right? It's all right. Hmm. All right. Um, let's see. Quick question for the yeah, committee. We got a lineup and got Since, game of the year. Uh, That's what happened. We have a bunch of other categories and we still need to go over the game of the year. Would you guys want to do a follow up at about the same time tomorrow? Hey, I'm cool with that. I'm I can do tomorrow. Tomorrow. Corey? Maybe. I will get back to you. Hell Mesa? Yeah. Uh, I, I should be okay. Okay. I should be okay. All right, so we'll we'll still do the game of the year one tonight. Uh, what do we have? Like an hour and a half left. Mm-hmm. It's a beefy episode. All right, uh, where were we? Da, da, da. Most replayable. We have Animal Crossing: New Horizons, Apex Legends. Call it. I'm going to take Warzone off, and I'm going to take Destiny Two off. Bird. Yes, very. Uh, I'm do adding, you, hold on, do I'm you, adding one. Okay. Oh, it's already at the bottom. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. The I mean, it. it wasn't in the D's, so I was like, I, oh. I, I saw it, and I was okay. like, oh, I'll add this. <laughs> yeah. uh, here, I'm going to take Apex off, too. So we have Animal Crossing New Horizons, Doom Eternal, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Gears Tactics, Genshin Impact, Ghost of Tsushima, Persona 5 Royal, Phasmophobia, Resident Evil 3, Miles Morales, Watch Dogs Legion, uh, Shadowlands, XCOM Chimera Squad, Yakuza Like a Dragon, Fallen Order, Among Us, Hades, Godfall, and Demon Souls. Uh, someone forgot the right apostrophe the right there. I did forget the apostrophe. <laughs> I'm going to throw two things out right at the beginning. Yakuza uh, 7 and Persona 5 Royal are, are Persona 5 Royal are both like apparently very good. They're both like 100 hour RPGs. Are they <laughs> yeah. really replayable? Same yeah, yeah. I, so I have surprisingly played. If if you want to count the original game, I, this, I've done four playthroughs. Damn, that's um, a lot of playthroughs. I, would, I know. I would, I would Those also waifus like ain't to, gonna romance themselves, dude. Yeah. I would also like to vote out um, replayability. I, I don't know. This is where my brain goes with replayability. It's a replayability is like a game with like a a, a pretty straightforward story, and it's so good you want to replay it. Among Us, Phasmophobia, and Animal Crossing are not those things. Yeah. I mm-hmm. fundamentally I mean, disagree. I think I mean, if you can constantly go I back to it, them... I mean, that's not really replaying it. You're just playing it again. It's the... It's, but how, how far do you want to dissect the word replay? <laughs> like, are you not relaunching the game multiple times? I don't know. It's, it's just... still playing mm-hmm. category, right? Well, like, we have a, I have a best... Okay. Game. Like it's the difference between you know. You can say that about Fortnite too. Like, but nobody yeah. wants to talk about that. I'm not like, trying to floss dance over. <laughs> Fortnite's there, okay? pretty cool. Fortnite is pretty dope. I will defend Fortnite. Yo, Absolutely. You know what's weird? They yeah, took this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's weird. Dope. They, they took this new Fortnite character. They they gave him his own game. It's called God of War or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh my Halo god! I I yeah. if any Kratos kids actually it? say that, I want to murder them. That's Master <laughs> Chief. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm just gonna say off the top who the, the three i'm gonna vote for is one doom eternal because i've literally played that like 12 times it does not mm. get boring um persona 5 royal because there's a lot of meat on there especially that royal is added on top of the existing persona 5 systems mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. among us because mm-hmm. i like getting new people to lie to but you know what uh, i've been playing with cory the last couple times and i have very rarely been the imposter, so I've been the McCready of the group. No lying for me, yeah. but I have, I'm uh, good at figuring people out. I would like to remove Animal Crossing because it technically never ends. Big okay, fight, so. <laughs> that sounded so threatening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying, it literally is a game that never ends, so yeah. you can't really replay a game that you you never beat. Uh, for me, I would have to go. <laughs> Uh, Resident Evil 3, mostly because there is actual incentives to play in that game multiple times. I have played that game. All those, all those grinding for kills <laughs> is such bullshit, but I got every single challenge in there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, wow, Shadowlands, especially with you being able to run alts through it, pick your pick your covenant from the beginning, do all that stuff. I would say and specifically I, for Shadowlands, because it's linear, it does suffer in the, in the alts department. No, I would personally think that makes it a lot easier to get alts through, but then again, we're both on the side of, I do not like o- open-world battle for a- Azeroth, you liked open-world stuff. Oh, I disagree so, with you. 
I, I mean, I agree with you on that. I, that yeah, I do prefer the linearity, but I don't play with alts. Uh, I stick well, with, like, one person. I have, like, 12, so I do. Uh, you have what we call a problem. One, my third one would would honestly be Watchdogs, just partially because of you can have, like, a different squad every single time you play it. So you could have, like, different mm-hmm. people with, like, different uh, uh, abilities and stuff. Okay. Next. So, so, oh, go ahead. Let's see. I got to go Demon Souls number one. Yeah. Then <laughs> probably Miles. I've been playing a bit of New Game Plus and it's really fun. And then probably Hades. And obviously Miles benefits from being so short and very nice. See, right now there. when I put Godfall on this list, I was under the impression that replayability meant like coming back to a game that you'd already beaten and doing stuff afterwards. Because, like, you know how some open open world games, once you beat it, it's like, oh, here's some more stuff to do. That's how I was perceiving it. And if that's how we were going to perceive it, then Godfall would have been on my list. Because I definitely want to keep playing that game. Because there's, like, there's, like, a whole tower challenge mode afterwards that I'm definitely going to be... I, I feel like replayability... I feel like replayability needs to be categorized, categorized mm-hmm. as, like, <laughs> yeah. it's a game you've beaten. Like, there's actually an end to the game. And then but then you've... the game lets you go off and do what you want afterwards. Right, and you can do more mm-hmm. stuff, or you can play the whole game over again, and... You know. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Okay, so let's just go and take whatever's multiplayer off, so... Buy Among Us... Yeah, I think multiplayers are kind of like multiplayer is a completely different category. So I think any multiplayer game needs to like the fuck out vam- of Vamos. <laughs> uh, Mesa, who you There's the for? door. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, um so this is gonna it's probably gonna be the first one I really vote for things I really haven't played that much. I'm gonna say first one being Demon Souls. Second one being uh, um, wow, it just it Resident Evil. Woo, that was that was bad for a second. Um, and then third, it's a toss up between Miles and Fallen Order. Because um, I never did go the, back to Fallen Order. To be honest, they, they added a lot to really? to, re, to 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 replay. Yeah, hell yeah. Like there's a full challenge mode and everything. Yeah, it's it's they 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 shared it out a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna give it to Fallen Order because because it hasn't gotten a lot of spotlight so far. So those are those are my three. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Resident Evil three because I actually have played that multiple times and I'm still trying to beat Nightmare Mode. Um and so that's my, I'd say that's my number one, and then my number two would be Demon Souls because I was looking forward to playing that over again before I even started the first playthrough. Um, oh, so, yeah. <laughs> and then my third would have to be Hades because I got addicted to that game multiple days in a row. <laughs> All right, I think just based off the numbers, uh, Demon Souls wins. Hell. Woo! Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Let us cleanse the world. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So pure heart. Don't let it. Don't let them take it from you. <laughs> let us mend the world. My bad. Let us mend the world. Uh, most <laughs> anticipated and expectations actually met. Um, Animal Crossing: New Horizons, Battletoads, Crash Bandicoot 4, Doom Eternal, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, mm-hmm. Gears Tactics, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades, Kingdom Hearts: Melody of Memory. Persona 5 Royal, Resident Evil 3, Spider-Man Miles Morales, The Last of Us Part 2, WoW Shadowlands, Yakuza Like a Dragon, Fallen Order, Black Mesa, and Tell Me Why. I think for me, um, I might have to go Fallen Order because I had zero hope in, uh, in EA actually producing a good Star Wars game. But so at the I same time, really- a lot of people were looking forward to it, right? Yeah, I mean, I was looking yeah. forward to it, but I did have mm-hmm. that bit of skepticism and having my expectations m- met, or I guess, I guess exceeded, um, I, th- I think it's easily fallen order for me. To me, like, I would th- actually have to go melody of memory because I did not think that they could make a good fucking rhythm game. <laughs> I was like, Kingdom Hearts rhythm game? What the fuck? Like, I, I was mean, like, they yeah, had those. It was actually obviously, challenging. It was obviously challenging, interesting because yeah. it's a Kingdom mm-hmm. Kingdom Hearts game. But the fact they could go from what three was to a rhythm game that was legitimately fun, 
challenging, wanting you to play on higher difficulties. And then, like, the way that, that, that they did boss battles in that was also extremely, like, creative. Yeah, there's, like, so three honestly, different modes that you can play in. It's crazy. Yeah, like, honestly, uh, I would have to go with that. 100%. Well, well shout out to those Atlantis levels in Kingdom Hearts, too. I still hate it. I still hate it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have Finny Fun? You're right. <laughs> For me... I know I've been batting for FF7 Remake a lot, but man, that's like, FF7 is one of my favorite games ever. And people have been talking about remaking FF7 since like the PS2. That's something that had. Un- you know what, Nexus, you're right. I'm, I'm going with you. Like crazy high expectations for mm-hmm. everyone. And the fact that it came out and is even good, and it's amazing. The fact that it came out and is even good. Is like and it's crazy. not even the full game. It's, it's not, not even the full, the full game. game. It's crazy. It's like, it's like one third of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I'm going with Nexus on this it one. Was able to kind of twist that expectation of like, well, it's not just a remake of FF7. It's also like kind of something new in a way, which is just really cool. Like totally blew me away. I guess Mesa. people put more more uh, faith in Nomura, huh? Yeah. Well, he technically didn't write this game. Well, he directed it he just, in my head. He's just there. I saved it. Like, so. hey, make sure Cloud has this amount of belts. See the belts <laughs> this amount there. of buckles. You see the belts on his belts? You gotta make sure he's mm-hmm. got all of hey, uh, them. You see the belts on the horizon? You can walk there. You see those, Remember you see that, that belt? You can climb that belt. March 3, guys. Let's uh, do that in the remake. Yeah. Mesa, who who you vying for? I I'm going. Yeah, I'm just. I'm gonna have to give it to um Miles just because, like, like it it really did go beyond my expectations. Miles Morales. It is really good. Um, uh, Fallen Order is a close second. Fallen Order is a very close second, but I think for me personally, I just. I, I just love Miles too much to not pick it. Especially going in, knowing I'm going to love it, and coming out loving it even more. I, I just, I can't, I can't, I, I can't pick anything else. It's really strong. <laughs> Corey. I think for me, let's, I'm, I'm looking over the list right now, and I'm, I'm trying to really feel in my heart what was the most anticipated game. And, uh, and I want to say that for me, The Last of Us Part Two was the most anticipated game. Mm. Um, and I think I was just absolutely blown away with the risks that they took with that game and how I'm, I know it's controversial and I know a lot of people are split on it, but I just I, I think that that uh, I definitely was happy with that game. I think I'm gonna have to change my mind again because everyone keeps making good freaking <laughs> arguments. Because one, I was like, Fallen Order is like, damn, I wasn't expecting that to to be good. And then you're like, Final Fantasy, VII, I'm like, damn, yeah, I have been waiting for that since I was like a fucking kid. But then the last you know was two was the last time that. I was like, I was on it like the second it dropped, and I marathoned it that weekend. Dude, I was, I was mm-hmm. like, I was like, besides the PS5, like I was on edge, like just waiting for that game to come out. I was just like, just, I fucking release it. I just <laughs> want it already. <laughs> I mean, I for that, so. I will raise you. Where were you when Sony announced uh, the Final Fantasy VII remake at E3 that I year? Were- when you just heard people in, in, in the like theater on like live streams going like, they're actually doing it. Oh God, it's happening. And then they just were like, oh, we're doing a Final Fantasy VII remake and then walked off the stage as if nothing happened. Yeah. yeah. I will say to those your dreams. Of, um, expecting a game to not be great and having to exceed the expectations. Man, Nintendo's been making crappy mm-hmm. Paper Mario games like it's their job. And Origami King is dope. That game's awesome. I have, I have to play it. I haven't touched it's, it yet. It's, like, it's not quite the same kind of thing people are looking for, like Thousand Year Door. But it's like the first good one in forever. I think I have to, because I... 
I ha- see thousand year door. I'm t- I'm such a thousand year door fanboy that I have yeah, to same. just like I same. I was not when I saw the battle system. I was so yeah. turned off from it. The the things that make thousand year door good aren't in Origami King, mm-hmm. but it is still like a great Paper Mario game in its own kind of respect. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I think based off the numbers, uh, it would have to be Last of Us Part Two then, right? Mm-hmm. Two Ooh. votes. All right. Mm-hmm. Wow, I actually actually got one in. I'm going to cry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you actually got one. Oh, wait, I got I got one in. I got the PlayStation 5. Yeah, you freaking right stole now. that. <laughs> <laughs> use your cat. Put use your t- cat as a, as a tissue. I, I will. I'm you. <laughs> he rough. rubs his he rubs his cat all over his face every day. What do you mean? You know what the fuck cat Not every doing. day. Where are they? Oh, there they are. That's a really cute cat. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see. We can do a couple more before we go to the game of the year. Uh, so we went in and separated our art categories into super creative versus realistic, just because they're going for two completely different fucking things. It's not necessarily fair to yeah uh, put the two against each other. So for right. creative, we have Thirteen Sentinels, Igus Rim, Aegis, however you want to pronounce it. Animal Crossing New Horizons, Astro's Playroom, Battletoads, Bug Snacks, Carrion, Crash Bandicoot 4, Doom Eternal, Hades, Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, uh, Paper Mario the Origami King, Tell Me Why, Wow Shadowlands, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Don't don't scoff at SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> you will, res- you will respect kind of SpongeBob. Ugly. Among Us and Godfall. Just, just, just real quick. I want to say, playing uh, the remaster, whatever for Bikini Bottom, that is such like just a primary color visual palette. It is a fucking breath of fresh air. That is a good fucking looking game. It has like some kind of yeah. The colors are fucking beautiful. Um, I'm gonna actually argue. Like, I'm gonna be the only person here, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm actually gonna argue for Godfall for this one because the art design that they use to make the armor and make it just like so over the top and like extravagant and just the different worlds based on earth water and air are just so distinguishedly different that to me it was that was honestly my breath of fresh air it was playing through that because like you, you get used to all these like mmo type destiny games where yeah every every place is different but the mute color palette's kind of the the same depending on where on where you go but playing godfall and having everything just like be bright and different and and the enemy types all all be different and to me it's just like the armor is what sticks out to me and how like the light bounces off of it and how there's different armor types that look like different things like you 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 can look like a moth you can look like a flowy moth that has like a cape that's supposed to be the moth of wings. Oh, a moth. A moth. I thought you said a moth. Uh, <laughs> and to me, it's just, it's just like what they did with uh, what they did with like Godfall's art design is just really pretty. So I'm good. I, I agree with you in that. Mm-hmm. Obviously, a lot of work put into it. There's a lot of tech there with the reflections and whatnot. But that mm-hmm. aesthetic does not appeal to me whatsoever. It's, a, it's, yeah, it's, it's, an, it's an AMD title. Does it does kind of look like that? And what um, I will say, I think in this category we have two like titans that are standing above everyone else. Battle Toads, right? Studio, <laughs> from two studios that I think have some of the best art direction in the entire industry, and that's Thirteen Sentinels and Hades. Oh yeah, yes. Yep. Super yep. giant vanillaware when it comes to like the art design of their games make the most beautiful games in in on in the industry it's it's and just like that mix that they had to come out in the same year is really unfortunate for this like category i haven't played hades but from what i've seen it it, it just wins hades is really super, super giant super giant just has this way of taking three dimensional characters and throwing them in a two dimensional plane and it's really beautiful mm-hmm. how they just move without it you know Everything, through all it. of their games moves different from Bastion to Transistor to fucking Pyre, which is like totally out of right. Oh, yeah. Religious oh, yeah. basketball. That's all I'm going to say. Like, just how it's so <laughs> literally from left field and then going to something like Hades, which is kind of in the same art vein as Transistor is, just less bright and less like futuristic to me. Mm-hmm. But it's still like, even then, they make these games 
look so beautiful and run so beautiful and just make it look alive no matter what the like what the subject matter is it's almost like they take a painted background and then they just add three-dimensional effects to bring it to life you mm-hmm. know so. so is it pretty safe to say everyone's going for hades then I mean, is I that, am. Is that the clear winner? It's hard yeah. for you to pick between Hades and 13 Sentinels. I'm picking yeah, 13 played, Sentinels. Yeah. I played a couple hours of 13, and that game... is unfortunately getting here tomorrow. It's it's really pretty, but just playing it the whole time, it, I, like, I'm not... This is not a jab at it, but it just felt like a Vita game the whole time I was mm. playing. Oh, yeah, it's Vanillaware. They all feel oh, like yeah. Vita games. Vanillaware. <laughs> <laughs> it felt like I was it playing it on was like, a Vita, Vita TV. <laughs> like, so like I just did all like, like, even Vita TV and stuck in a Vita even, game. Like, even, even Muramasa the Demon Blade on Wii feels like a Vita game. Yeah. So, Sarah, I guess you're the tiebreaker. Hades or... I'm going for Hades just because I have more history That's with That's right. Supergiant. That's fair. Not because Again, I'm, I'm very biased and I actually played Pyre like yeah. a year and a half. Both early. very I, deserving. I, 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 like, like a game Titans. event. Both All right. very deserving. Uh, mm-hmm. Best arts uh, for, real, for realism. We have Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. That's a hell of a title. Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, Resident Evil 3, Spider-Man Miles Morales, The Last of Us Part II, Watch Dogs Legion, and Yakuza Like a Dragon. I'm... I'm actually going to argue Resident Evil 3 because they made Nemesis legit look like he is a dude in a suit. I think that's what makes Nemesis more terrifying. I think those textures when he's like are running towards you at top speed, and you're like, no, yeah, or like no. leaping onto a freaking gate in front of you. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just to me how they manage to what's the word? Uh, realistic. Real, this isn't a word, but like realistify nemesis. Just literally is just utter nightmare fuel to me. Yeah, he just I, looks. I, horrifyingly gross also the fact that jill and carlos look like actual people now Mm -hmm. because the fucking re engine dude that engine's just goddamn insane i would push back against that and i would say the texture work could actually use a lot of improvements specifically with characters faces the yeah. the human really? ones. Really? I thought the characters' faces looked fucking uh, amazing. That's where I was. I, I, that's, a, that's a strong disagree for me. Jose looking for the so, clean faces mod. I I would like to. <laughs> no, I need I, I need like to see to... those freaking skin pores and dude, I need to see that. I don't know. Like just compared to other things on here, I'm just I'm just like, no, they're, they're kind of flat. I would like to say that. Um, so the Last of Us Part Two, I actually when I started the game and like parts parts of the game and stuff, when there were like scenes of characters talking, I would actually um, purposely look at their eyes because I noticed that a lot of games that do realistic, um, realistic art styles, their eyes are the hardest things to mm-hmm. get correct um, on where they're like looking. And because sometimes they'll drift off or sometimes they'll like, they'll shake or something. I don't know. It's like, or sometimes it, it, it's, it's, it's a Bethesda game where they just stare at you and they don't yeah. blink. Yeah, exactly. Their eyes don't even <laughs> so <laughs> if, if they can get the eyes right, which they I feel like they did in The Last of Us, because it was like you could see the focus in their eyes. You could see the emotion in their eyes. Um, then that 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 does it for me because that's one of the hardest see, things to do. I would totally agree with, with you. And I think last of us two is absolutely beautiful, but that's when you start to get to uncanny Valley ter- 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 uh, territory. Oh, I think we're past that now. I think we're, <laughs> we're past no, that. Depends on the studio. Have you played a David Cage game in the last yeah. decade? The Uncanny Valley is there and fucking alive, Corey. Oh, okay. So, you know what? They couldn't get past uh, Uncanny Valley, so they literally made half the characters robots to justify it. <laughs> it doesn't look bad. That's that what it's supposed to look like. That was a fucking dig, and I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Christ. That's uh, Nexus. good. That's good. Sorry. Nexus is good. <laughs> Props to you, man. That also, was I, I just... <laughs> also, like a few of these games are on next year. Like Spider Man Miles Morales is specifically for yeah, PS5. I would so, feel like, like <laughs> putting like. Because, like, obviously things are going to look more realistic in a PS5 game. Like, mm-hmm. Well, I, w- I would argue, like, obviously, like, the tech will allow for. Um, 
for better advances and whatnot. <laughs> But I would think, like, the attention to detail, like uh, Corey had stated for The Last of Us Part Two, I would still say that's more impressive than some of the graphical leaps that Miles Morales is able to achieve because of the PS5's hardware. I think some of the full body stuff that they do in Miles Morales is really incredible. Mm-hmm. I think, I think the, yeah. the... Go ahead. I was going to say, the depth of field is incredible. Speaking of depth of field, my pick is Yakuza 7. Hmm. Oh, yeah, wow. I think that game just looks perfect. Yeah, for me, it's kind <laughs> of a toss up between Ghost of Tsushima and Yakuza 7. I'll probably go Yakuza 7 because I have how colorful it is. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I like think colors. that's the most votes, so that probably just wins by default. Then, like, right? you guys want to go hair? into detail why it why why you like, voting for it? The, the, their use of depth of field in Yakuza 7 is so perfect. Ichiban's hair, which by the way looks fantastic immediately, and th- that type of hair is always hard to do in video games. I mean, I would also argue that uh, Carlos's hair is just yeah. <laughs> same thing, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Also, like, it's I like just... I, I feel like like, yeah, like even you just like, like run your hands through it. It just looks so like soft. Even though I haven't played Ghost of Tsushima, the fact that so many people are just using and abusing the photo mode like crazy yeah. with that game yeah that it just goes great. to show you how beautiful it is yeah <laughs> and it's yeah. just like it's not that it's just like so realistic because on that level it's all right but just the colors are so mm-hmm. gorgeous yeah but so i have to give it, it has a nicely stuff. detailed butt too yeah mm. <laughs> you see a Smooth lot of round it grabbing all right so yuck is uh, like a dragon <laughs> wins uh best multiplayer um, Can I? So really, really quick. There are games on here that have come out like. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. Years ago, <laughs> I was. I was gonna say I would allow it if we can put Rainbow Six Siege on there. So yeah. Among Us is actually a two year old game, by the way. Oh. Yeah. Wow. See, I will actually. I'm actually gonna agree, with my boy uh, Jeff Keeley, on this one. Yes, it did come out previously, but it did not come into the. <laughs> Jesus Christ, people. You guys are destroying these notes. So yes, Among Us did come out previously, but it did not Sorry. blow up exactly. until now. It did not enter the uh, the public the discourse or consciousness. The gaming lexicon? Yes. The gaming lexicon. So yeah. for for that specifically, I'm more than willing to make that's, the exception I feel for it. That's a toss in the dark, but sure, I'll go with it. <laughs> Um, Speaking for, of tossing in the dark, phasmophobia okay. is pretty fun. <laughs> I have a gun in this race, and it has one bullet, and I'm going to use it to kill Animal Crossing, because that's some of the worst multiplayer implementation I've ever played. What happened, what happened to Street Fighter? There's so many quality of life things that the they could do to fix that game, and they just decide not to, because Nintendo yeah. fucking doesn't All I want to do is kill Animal Crossing in this regard. <laughs> Alright, let's go Animal Crossing. They don't care what is as this long chaos as you going stuff. in the notes? What happened to Street Fighter? It didn't come out. It was already in the it was already in the gaming lexicon, Mesa. <laughs> not, not champion edition. Not, not champion, champion edition. edition. And Tekken Seven nope. got a netcode update, and they added rollback netcode to Guilty Gear Action Core XX Plus R. You guys have your own fighting category. <laughs> This is what happens, the game this what happens every single time. It gets snow right? every year. Every Why single time. We gotta pick up the scraps. I think, honestly, I think my top two is is uh, Among Us and Phasmophobia as of All right now. All these people trying to claim Sonic Fox. You're forgetting the one true beans. Oh, Fall, Fall Guys? guys. No, yeah, the Fall one, Guys. The one true beans. Fall Guys? <laughs> I think Fall yeah. Guys is great. Fall Guys is great. But Among Us has given me an experience I've never really had before. Yeah, I feel it's... like I, I feel like Fall Guys, like I kind of like Ish still likes to play it, but we kind of tapered off playing it. Whereas Among Us and Phasmophobia, I feel like those games I just like I, I never get tired of, you know? Hmm. So yeah, that's what I'm voting for. Among Us can be fun. It's fun to gaslight people. <laughs> Did you play TTT? Doc, what are you talking about? What is TTT? Is it Trouble in Terrorist Town? I hate Doc so much. <laughs> Did you play Trouble in Terrorist Town? Shut up, Doc. All right. I guess I guess I'll 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 agree with you, Jose. I'll I'll vote for Among Us as my first one. Fine. <laughs> Among Us. 
But Phasmophobia is up there, man. Phasmophobia is definitely up there. (laughs) All right. We are running a little low on time, or at least Mm -hmm. I am. And being the host of this, like that makes it, that makes me, we, uh, so let's go ahead and jump over to our game of the year and we'll go ahead and do a cleanup episode tomorrow. All right, so for game of the year, there's a bit of a bigger list. Now, if oh, there's God, anything there's missed, feel free to put it on. Where's game of the year? I'm not seeing it's, it. It's up near it's the, top. Put it at the top. It's all the top. Oh, God. It's, it's insane not, for it's, last in parenthesis. You, like, made me scroll all the way down only to scroll back up. I, I It's very labor-intensive work. I am very sorry, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> my scrolling finger hurts now, Jose. <laughs> Are you scrolling? I'm hitting my home and end keys, dude. Instant. Wow. <laughs> uh, all right, so for game of the year, we have. I'm, Doom- I'm using my new mouse, wireless baby. Wired baby. <laughs> Dude, I, I can like wiggle with it, and I won't like knock my computer off the, off the table. Knowing you, you'll find <laughs> a way. Yeah. You'll find a way. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so for game of the year, we have Doom Eternal, uh, Animal Crossing, Yakuza, Shadowlands, Watch Dogs. Yeah, that's that's me. Someone's buzzing and it's very loud. Yep. That's the phone over there. We have Doom Eternal, Animal Crossing, Yakuza, Shadowlands, Watch Dogs, The Last of Us 2, Tell Me Why, Miles Morales, Resident Evil 3, Persona 5 Royal, Ori, Half-Life Alex, Hades, Ghost of Sh- yeah, Ghost of Tsushima, uh, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, Fall Guys, Crash 4, Astro, Valhalla, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh, Kingdom Hearts, Melody of Memory, Fallen Order, Black Mesa, and Among Us. Mesa, you want to go ahead and take the first stab at that? Um, are we eliminating or are we just picking? I, I'd say just pick. That's, yeah, yeah just that's what I wanted to do as well. And my pick for game of the year is obviously Spider-Man Miles Morales. I don't think... I could have picked anything else. <laughs> that's yeah, that's it. That's your one vote. That's that's my vote. Unless, uh, if, if I get a second one, uh, I guess if you're just doing my top three, then um, whatever you feel passionately about. Okay. Whatever literally screams at you. So for me, it would either be Doom Eternal or The Last of Us Two. Both are like an mm. equal playing field yeah. for me for very different reasons. Miles Morales, Fallen Order, and you know what? Screw it, Astro Bot. Oh there. wow! Yeah, yeah. All right, wow. I haven't be I haven't be Ghost yet. So I don't want. I don't. I don't feel. What happened to that it. empty nostalgia, dude? <laughs> I told you, it's not for me. It's a hand saying "Welcome, <laughs> your 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 home, you're, welcome to your new home." Essentially, I yeah. got I got my three. Uh. Number one is actually going to be uh, Resident Evil 3. Uh, I just thought it was such like a fun remake and like, and, like a really fun experience. Uh, two is going to be Tell Tell Me Why, just because that did not get enough love this, this year. And it's the one story that stuck with me the entire year. Uh, and the one game that's emotionally stuck with me. And uh, hot take, but if you get the bad ending in that game, then you are a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, hot takes. Uh, and then my third one is actually going to be Astro. It's the first game I ever platinumed, and it was a game that brought me back to some of the best, like best moments of my childhood, which was a kind of pretty shitty child childhood, and being reminded of all like of all the old PlayStation stuff and the memories of I got my first place play, PlayStation. That game like did something in me that just gave me that like tiny bit of serotonin that i had been craving that i didn't know and serotonin yes. serotonin <laughs> that game meant a lot to me more more than words honest mm-hmm. honestly on like a mental level so i would have to put astro uh astro's playroom on there too i think maybe just to elaborate on on mine a bit more for the uh <laughs> reason reason why doom eternal and the last of us 2 are at an equal level for me uh doom eternal is the best shooter of like i don't even want to say the last generation i want to don't even want to say the last decade i think it's just hands down one of the best shooters of all time and it, it's in terms of just like raw game design and raw gameplay that is the pinnacle of, of video games to me at the moment 
and then the last of us two on the on it also holds that spot but specifically for the storytelling for the overall storytelling experience those are just both master class examples in in both of their respective fields uh cory you want to go ahead yes um i think my number one is the last of us part two um because it made me feel things that i didn't expect to feel um and uh it was you know it it just it feels like it it had everything um Miles Morales, Spider-Man uh, will always be close to my heart. Um, and the fact that they brought Miles into it and really just gave him, you know, his his complete start of his own and he became, you know, he becomes his own person is just hands down like one of the re- one of the best representations of Spider-Man that I've seen. Um, so that's my second pick. Um, and then I think for me, my third pick would have to be uh, Astrobot as well because um, it just I, it was again like Sarah. It was the first <laughs> game that I ever platinumed, and uh, I got the platinum bug, as Jose likes to say. Um, <laughs> and uh, it just yeah, it, it, even though it is a lot of nostalgia, it it, it just it, it's nostalgia in a in a very it's nostalgia used in a very good way. You know. It's also like nostalgia used in a way that's not like force. I I honestly wouldn't say that it's used in 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 your face. It's used in such a very well done memory type of way. Well, yeah, and and because our I feel like this this game this game was for our generation and maybe those that are a little bit older than us who mm-hmm. remember playing mm-hmm. who remember playing on the first PlayStation and then getting a PlayStation 2 and then a PlayStation 3 and mm-hmm. then a PlayStation 4 mm-hmm. and now getting a PS5 and sitting down and going through all of that with all these different references it's just like wow i'm literally going through my uh, i'm going through a catalog of my gaming history with playstation that's yeah. literally what it's going I yeah, down and, memory lane you know yeah, like yeah. one more one more really quick thing on it astrobot actually made me cry because it was just so oh yeah nostalgic me too. and so mm-hmm. it was so cute and it was exactly what what we kind of needed right right now like it was yeah. a game of, of, yeah. about killing mm-hmm. it wasn't a game about like yeah you get like guns and bows and arrows and stuff but it's not a game about shooting things it's a game about celebrating a history, mm-hmm. celebrating your history with this thing, and the way that it's done, including the little itty bitty references in it that some of us may not have got. Like I know I found a reference for un- for un- un- until dawn that everybody else I talked to never found, mm-hmm. and they're like, "Oh, I just didn't know what that was." And after pointing it out to people, they're like, "Okay, we we totally get it now." Like it's one of those things where every playthrough you're gonna find a, a reference that no one else got. And I think, and just knowing how much it, how much the different console levels are going to mean to you, other than someone else, I think it's so beautiful. And it's fucking free. It's free. You don't need to pay anything for this. I would just like to say that I didn't care about time trials until Jose decided to challenge me. That that is incorrect. I did them, and then you went out of your way to try to beat my scores, and then I clapped back at you. And then you took it really seriously, and then you you didn't clap. You fucking smacked the shit out of my scores. I, I also want to add to um, what Corey was saying about, you know, growing up and slowly and getting the new consoles all the time. The reason why, like, because, it, it, like, like, that wasn't me. That was my friends. So, like, I would, I would visit my friends. I remember, like, you know, my friend who, you know, we would stay up all night playing, like, Jedi Power Battles on his PS- PS1. Like getting at his birthday, him opening up a PS2 with with the uh, with um with the uh, Ratchet and Clank. So like, yeah, it was just it was I don't I, I don't know. It's I have a weird uh, like tick and like it just basically it hit that tick really really hard of just being like you're mm-hmm. we, we haven't forgotten about you. You're welcome here. Mm-hmm. And I just yeah. like emotionally, you, you I can't up, really get you, over out of that. Yeah. It's like you grew up with us, yeah, or we grew and up with you. You know, it's, it's basically like, saying thank you for growing up with us. Here mm-hmm. is yeah. it, to me, it, and this could sound really dumb, but it was it was holding your hand, taking you through your history, their history, and saying welcome to what next gen is. It's mm-hmm. built on the back on the backs of all of these older systems. 
Yeah. And this is a personal thank you to them, to you, to like everything else. God, that and that's guy. why I think Astro <laughs> is way more important than, I mean, obviously we consider it important, but I think it's a lot more important than some people put it out to be. No, right. yeah, because it, it's because awesome, it does that like, museum of PlayStation history. It also is a great showcase for the fucking dual sense. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, it's a nice little hand massage you... too. <laughs> What's that GPU song? Oh, the, the GPU, GPU song slaps. Real catchy. Oh my gosh, yes. The G- and did you guys find the secrets of like where you can see the lyrics if you yeah. crack yeah. the walls? I love that. <laughs> can, okay, can can we just continue with the year to like Astro, please? <laughs> I do have my top three, which is Go technically ahead. top four, because the second one is not on the list, because I don't think y'all are counting it. But it's mm. Astro Boy, Miles Morales, Astro Boy. Devil May Cry Astro- 5 Special Edition. <laughs> oh, I did say Astro Boy. Whoops. <laughs> Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. And at number one is the Final Fantasy 7 remake. That's my top three. All right. I think the common one is. Um... Is Astro, but not even Ast- Astro's playroom. Hell yeah. yeah! Is that the common one between all of us? I think. So. I don't. I don't think it was necessarily anyone's first pick, but yes. But it's so the most then Astro Bar. I don't mind giving. So Jill Stein wins. I wouldn't mind. Yeah. Stein wins. <laughs> I was Joe mind. Jorgensen. Let's hear it for Joe Jorgensen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The free game with your PS5 <laughs> wins game well, of the year. Honestly, oh, being, like being completely serious here, Sony could have easily charged us twenty fucking dollars or forty dollars yeah. for that fucking game. But the fact that it comes free, no matter if you buy your PlayStation Five new or used, because I bought mine used, mm-hmm. and PlayStation still sent me to the store page to download it. Mm-hmm. Sony could easily make you buy that game if you don't buy your PlayStation new, but they don't do that. Mm-hmm. And I think that <laughs> that literally says like leaps and bounds for like for like arguing that Astro's Playroom is a is a museum is a is a cel- celebration of PlayStation's mm-hmm. history, mm-hmm. and they want everybody to experience that. Well, I think that seals the deal. I know I've already kind of went off extensively on Astro for like the last um, two podcasts. I think that we've done. So I won't necessarily <laughs> add, add. Listen, Astro is just really good. <laughs> no, no, I, I'm right there with you. Um, after all, I was the first one to platinum it out of the group. Um, <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> and um, yeah, no, I think it deserves it. But I think that's going to do it for tonight's episode. Hell we'll yeah. try to uh, get to the rest of our categories tomorrow. We still have some other ones, such as biggest snub, because all of you guys seem to hate on my baby. <laughs> my, my, my doomed little baby. Ready to go. Uh, excuse you? Tell me, tell me why. My baby doom. <laughs> anyway, so everyone, thank you for hanging out and watching go to like comment subscribe on all the socials the links are down below that would be over on youtube twitch and twitter twitter is the best place to stay up to date with every single one of us all of our ads are on screen and i just want to go and oh, thank all I my please, guests for being can on I please, uh, especially can I yeah, share just, something really really quick yeah just, just one second i just want to thank all of my guests especially nexus for coming on oh, yeah. and being part of the community uh, right, uh really, Sarah, really quick i uh I wrote a blog post today on my impressions of Godfall with, that goes through the story, combat, and just my overall views of the game. I would really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. I am very quickly going to link it, link it in the chat really, really quickly because I'm extremely proud of it and I would love for people to. And for those of you who are watching the YouTube video, um, I'm sure maybe Jose can link it in the uh, definite in the description. Yes, yep. please. Yep. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> and, thank you. Uh, since we're shilling stuff and I'm feeling particularly spicy, uh, check out my Trump anime wa- waifu dating simulator V3 nice. that I made back in college. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, I think I remember that. Oh, <laughs> uh, God. Uh, All right. For shilling, I will be streaming all the new Final Fantasy 14 patch 5.4 stuff on Tuesday, literally as soon as it goes up, so at like 4 a.m. Oh wow! Uh, and I can't wait for deep down. <laughs> better, uh, better get that I coffee can't... ready. Oh, yeah, well, I've got a lot of energy drinks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyone have any closing comments? 
Um, no. video games are pretty good. Yeah. Yay! Think, uh, Alex, why would you? Why would you say something so wrong? <laughs> I hate video those games. things. I'm happy. I'm very happy we're out of the 360 PS3 generation. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so it felt All like right. it kind of hurt everything for a minute. All right. Yeah. All right. Bye, everyone. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.